with you, my people. It is a great day for me and a day of joy to have you all come today to support my campaign. Over the years, those who we have represented to go and represent us, those who we have elected to go represent us have not done well. They have taken what belongs to us and put in their personal pockets. But this time, I am going to bring it down to the people. I get one employment. I get one rocker. I get one ganihu. Yeah. We shall have free education. That is why we have come. That is why I ask you to vote for Richard. Vote for PPP so that we will have progress. Oh no, please now don't do this thing to us now. This is our land. Oh, no. where, where do you expect us to go to? Eh? Can you hear yourself? Eh? Can you hear yourself? Makers of mischief. Let me tell you. Take your evil heart and go far away from here. And make sure you do not come back to this place. Else I will personally ensure that the entire if they youth stone both of you to death. Fools. Oh no, please, oh. All, all we need is for you to help us beg our father so that we can correct the mistakes. All we need is another chance. What, what chance? You had your chances, but you blew it. And let me tell you, it is only the gods that can give another chance. Yeah? Sit down, Take them away from me. Out! 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 Take them away! Out! What's the problem? You still sleeping by this time? I said, woke up. Our meeting is in 40 minutes time. Jesus what? So it was a dream. I had a terrible dream. We are just out of this palace. Are you okay? You had a terrible dream. You were just out of the palace. No, we. You are not. You are who? Make we were just out of this palace. My father, you are not okay. Even in your dream, it's not possible. Manaro or draw possible. You are who we are just out of the palace. You, you, not the maker. <sighs> you want huh? Ah, what is hot? Running temperature. No, 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 not. You are not. My friend, I'm leaving, so you need to see a doctor. See you. You are a fool. Do you know you are very, very stupid? What is this side mirror meant for? 
I was the you first person to enter this lane. Side, you know? I am the first person that entered this lane. Are, are you not supposed to make use of your own? Are you mad? You, you, are you are a madman. You are a madman. I'm a madman. You, you don't have sense. I'm a madman. You don't have driving you, license. You don't even go to driving school at all. You don't have driving license. That's why you are driving oh, this rubbish. You are a madman. Fatty. You don't have common sense. Hey. You are a madman. You you you, you have driving license. Hey. You don't have driving license. What's the meaning of this? What's happening there? What? Should I be here listening to those crappy stories? No, sir. Are you aware that time was for nobody? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. My friend, we are running late for the government function. Throw them out of the way. Rubbish. Come on, do first. Oh! Right. Right, I will bust you. I will bust this. You are after your thinking. Oh! <laughs> Can you imagine? Get out of there! Get out of there! Must you talk to them in that, that, that kind of manner? Force is the only language they understand. What happened? What was the problem? What are you about? No, keep going. They can't run away from the truth. <laughs> no. Your Highness. Yes. Everyone knows that you have brought great liberation to this community. Since you took over power from your father, things have changed for better in Ifite. <laughs> you have brought in so many investors that created a lot of business opportunities yes. for the people. Yes. Acres of land have been released for farming purposes. Your Highness, may your days be long. <laughs>
Ben Prince, sir, if you take it. Eh, yeah, I'm not Stand up, stand up and go back to your position. Guards, just stand up. The great prince of the land. Ah, the future of this great land. Yes. Long live Iwe Harrison. Yes. They fit one of you fit. He said. Phone is not there. No 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 the great prince of oh, Ifite. Hmm? The future of this land. May your days be long. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome, my children. Thank you, Dad. So, how was the event? Yeah, you were successful, Dad. Good. But you said the commission will be a small event. <laughs> but the roll call was thick and long. Hey. And he's right. All the power brokers of this state were there present. Mm. And they, I gave your good message to the governor himself. Mm. <laughs> That's impressive. Impressive. You see, I, I knew I could trust you both to represent me properly there. There was no way I could have explained my absence to the governor. It was a big relief that you both were there to take my place. Dad, you know what? I was surprised to see the governor's second doctor. Oh, grown up, looking beautiful, flashy and elegant. I was even surprised that she graduated from Oxford University. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's great. That's great. You see, you see I, was, I was going to that. You see, it is time you put get your spouses, get married. Hey, 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 listen, listen, I'm serious about this case. You are not getting any of your people. Oh, daddy. The ego himself. Igwe, I understand. Uh, we shall come to that later. <laughs> Let's leave that one aside now. Hmm. Huh? Keep quiet. How do you mean when the time comes? When do you plan to make that time come? Eh? See, the community is here waiting for me to present the heir to Imobi. And here you're telling me when the time comes. No. See, what we are saying is that you men need to get your wives, settle down, and begin to make babies. Simple. Especially you, Prince Arise. Being the first son of His Royal Highness here. Very soon, you'll be introduced to this kingdom as the heir to the throne. the throne. So you don't need to delay over this matter. Um, I know I've heard you all. I know it's my obligation to get myself a wife uh, that will soon be the queen of this great kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, but I shall do that when the time comes. It will. Amen. 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 It's a serious matter. Uh, um, Igwe, I've heard you. Um, I promise I, I will do that um, when the time is right. It's a big responsibility. Uh, no problem. Igwe, Anugo, hello. My prince. Anugo, my phone. Amen, Gwangwa. Amen, I love that. Always you. Hmm? Let us look for the black good before it is night. <laughs> Delay is dangerous in a matter like this. Okoram non. Thank you so much. Ibu, please, can I take my leave now? Thank you, sir. The great prince. <laughs> you see, this is all I get whenever I talk about marriage. 
It will be all right. It will be all right. Oh God, the chamber. Oh God, the chamber. Ah, it will be fine. I'm gonna do what do you need. When the time is right, it will happen. The time is now, my prince. Mm -hmm. No, now is now. Time is now. <laughs> But please, my children, I'm hungry. I am very hungry. I need some food. I have not eaten anything since. Madam, is that, is that why you should stand in the middle of the road, madam? Eh? What if you have crossed it? Nigga, why don't you again? Sorry, I'm not And we're running late for a meeting. Does it mean that you don't have children? Uh, my last child died years ago. I don't have any child. But what about your relatives now? At least they should be able to take care of you. I don't. I don't have relatives. You don't have children? Uh. You don't have relatives? Uh. Then you must be a witch. I'm not a witch, my child. Something is wrong. I don't know, but yeah. I'm not a witch. Yeah. Please, take care out of the place. Eh? Uh. Uh, uh, stop, stop, no stop, children, stop. no relatives. Madam. Something is wrong. Uh. Um, what, uh, but what tell him something. But, madam, you must not stand in the middle of the road to prove a point. Huh? What if we had crossed you? Why not stand by this side? Or even go to a church? I'm sorry. Because you make money. I'm sorry. Biko, 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 take this. What do you want take care of yourself? They can disappear. Hey, this and, one? Yes. Hey, and stop blocking the road, please. Thank you, my children. I can't disappear. Thank you. Um, because you are not going you. Mm -hmm. oh, you. God bless you. Mr. Chairman, I will not have this. I can't take this. I mean, how could my campaign be disrupted in such manner? I don't know where the talks came from. They came and disrupted and scattered everything ruthlessly. Are you asking me to take it calmly? I am convinced that my opponents are actually behind this. I mean, what else do you have to explain for this? How do I explain this? Miscreants, loafers, invading my campaign ground and making away with everything, disrupting what was going on, driving everybody astray, and you're telling me to take it lightly? No! I will get to the root of this. In fact, I'm going to invite those youths to my house and make an inquiry and try to find out where this came from. If I do not get a positive or a reasonable answer, I will round them all up. You see, we all know why they acted that way. Money is the simple reason. Yes, money. My source told me in confidence that your main opponent paid him huge amount of money. And the youth leader now connived with some miscreants to stop your campaign. That is the simple reason why this thing happened. That is it. That is why I tell you to come down. We must get to the root of all these things. Why? As a why? political party, we are not sleeping. Why would he do that? Mr. Chairman, please, I want the party to ensure that this is tackled and gotten to the root of. Please. It's, it's all right. Thank you for coming. We'll take sir. care of it. Thank you. No worries. Take Thank it easy. You. Have it's a nice day. Fortunate with you. Thank you very much. Jojo, baby. Mm. I'm so happy to see you, my love. Thank you. The last time we spoke, you said you were serving in Far North. Mm. 
How was your orientation camp? Hope you had a good time. Hmm. Hmm? Good time, you see. My dear. Look at my skin. <laughs> you see, the mountain weather. No be here. I wonder how people even cope with such a harsh climate. My dear, this is Nigeria for you. But your skin doesn't look bad to me. You look good. <laughs> You're glowing. Mm-hmm. It's because I just worked on my skin. I told you when I came back, eh? <laughs> you will even be like, babe, what is this? What happened? Are you serious? Seriously, I had to work on my skin. My dear, I can't even recall how many times I dozed off in that battle trying to recover my skin. <laughs> I was looking like a eh, dummy. Ha! <laughs> and it's not easy, seriously. I'm not even praying for anyone to go there and serve. Mm. So, Are you serious? serious? No, seriously. Oh. So please tell me how are you? My sister, I'm fine. It's just that I am stuck in this palace and bored. Mm -hmm. You know why? I have been going about attending several interviews awaiting their response. It's not been easy. What? I need a job. Interviews? I don't get this. Babe. <laughs> I am sure with your father's connection. In fact, I am 100% sure with your father's connection, hmm? you're going to get a juicy offer. Why are you stressing yourself? <laughs> if I'm you, I'll just cross my leg because I know that job will come looking for me. Is that <clears> easy <throat> to say, my dear? Look, I am not daddy's girl. I am my own woman. I love to make my own Benjamins, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my own money. I don't want to depend on my father's wealth for any reason. Excuse me, my princess. Yeah. Lunch is served. Oh, that came at the right time. You're lucky, so join me for lunch. Oh, please. See, I need to go. I have an urgent meeting to attend to. Jojo, hmm? that's very rude of you. You just came. Or did your parents tell you not to eat in people's houses? Oh, please. This is my household. Excuse me, young lady. I'm a big girl. I'm no longer a kid. I hear you. <laughs> See you. So, I promise I'll come back. Okay? I trust you. <laughs> My lovely friend, I'll miss you. Oh, who cooked this? It's just my friends. Mm. Yes, sir. Big problem. This is pepper. Very hot. Ah, everything is right. There's no milk, much pepper in this food. I personally supervised the pepper before it was added to the food. Exactly, mom is right. Uh, she has uh, always supervised every meal cooked in this house. My friend, my friend, take this out of this place. Take. You see, that is why I am saying that you men should go and get married. Get married and have your own family so that your wives can give you what you want at any time. You're talking as if it's easy. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, honestly, it's easier said than done. You have to fall in love first before getting a wife. What is not easy? We have beautiful maidens spread all over into the kingdom. And from reputable families, all you need to do is just pick one and make your choice, and that one is yours. Simple. Well, Dad, why did you tell Chifodia, a total stranger, to come and talk to us about marriage? Did you say Chifodia is a total stranger? He is your uncle. I mean, your father's blood brother. Yeah. And also, the traditional prime minister of this great kingdom. Uh, please, where is the chef? Let that chef come and get me something else to eat. It's pepper. It's very hot. No, no, no. Let me go. Let me pass, please. Emeka, we are talking about millions here. I suggest let's give them a, a very good run for their money. Emeka, let's go after the bull and grab it by its horns. You're correct, bro. Don't forget that when you want to double in a day, 
You cannot dabble in a deal when there is another giant on the deal. Father will be cross with us if you do that. And I'm very much concerned about the money involved. I've never known you to be measuring with money. I've never known you to be really live out with money. There you go, there you go. Obviously, guy, what is happening? Have you forgotten that we send money on errand and expect it to come back multiplied? And Diego is Diego, but I'm not. You could be an acolyte, but I don't know what is happening. Eliza, you sound so confident. I am almost very confident. My brother, have you forgotten? This is not the first time we've undertaken this kind of job, and you risk it without fear of anybody. This is not you. I understand you. But well, I just want you to know that when this backfires, you are the only one to go down. Because I, Amy, Jakarta, will not be involved. We never forgotten that we are stuck together as twins. One day we'll go down together if anything happens. Check out that. Two of us are I hit here, all two of us. It's for the benefit of the I two of us. When you want to take a risk, you take a calculated risk. One day you can do this thing, Emeka. You can do this. We've been doing this before. I say you don't strike and lose, you strike and hammer. Take a calculated risk. I'm not striking to lose. You can do it. We can do it. I say give it a second thought. One day, cherry, cherry. I want you to chip in words on behalf of our daughter, Isabel. She really needs a job right now. And she can't protest about it. But I sense her frustrations every day. Hmm. Why would she feel that way? Let her go ahead and join the family business. But my lord, Arinze and Emeka are already in charge in the company. So... Woman, woman, there's no law that says she can't join them. She's part of the family. Let her go over there and take charge of those departments yearning for attention. There are so many of them. Okay, yes. thank you, sir. I will talk to her. Good. Hey, that reminds me. When last did you ever have a sincere conversation with our sons? I want you to sit them down and talk sense into their heads because they are beginning to derail. How, my lord? I mean, I don't understand. Okay, okay, look, look at it this way. Is it not obvious that they are intelligently trying to touch marriage matters? You see, it, it, it's like they do not know what is expected of them. They don't know. I want you to make our time and talk to them. Perhaps they will listen to you. I will do as you have instructed, my lord. All right. I will. All right. And please don't forget to tell them that it is always natural to have a human face. Going about treating people arrogantly is not the best way. The word they say is enough for the wise. All right, my lord. I will talk to them. Okay. I promise. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> yes. Uh, in fact, I am at the site of the hospital project now. You need to see the work that these workers are doing here. Huh? These people are putting enough speed into the work. I, I, I want to tell you, very, very soon, 
our people will no longer travel out of Ifite for medical checkup. Uh -huh, no. <laughs> people from other towns will be coming into Ifite to receive medical attention. Anyway, I will get back to you. Yes, I am very busy now. I'm trying to supervise the project. You know, you will ask me to stay here and watch your fight. Ngwan, Ngwan, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. ah, my priest. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. You're here? Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, you know, your father, the king, put me in charge as the supervisor of this hospital project. And I have come to ensure that things are working according to plan, as you can see. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there's a change of plan. Eh. Oh, yes. We have decided to convert this place to a five-star hotel because of its location. And uh, very soon, I'll be getting the contractors to start work immediately. Mm -mm, please, 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 please don't go there. Please, please. You know our people need this hospital more than they need a hotel. And besides, there are too many hotels in Ifite. Even the royal family has about four hotels in Ifite. Changing this one to a hotel from a hospital will not be a good idea. Please, please, my prince. Uh, <coughs> um, uh, no, thank you for your contributions. You have done well. Uh, please, uh, I think uh, you have to go home and rest. You know, you have to go and rest your bones. You know, the kids are eating. <laughs> You have done well. My um, prince. Oh no, if the Igwe must hear this. Thank you. Thank you for your contributions, okay? We must call the, the contractor today. Igwe. Yes, Lord. That was how I left the site. In fact, as we speak. <laughs> The initial plan of that project is being restructured. You can't believe it. I'm so sorry about that. I, I have no idea of this new development. That site is for the hospital as proposed. And it is for the welfare of my people. Nothing can stop it. I will look into that issue. Your Highness, you know the entire Ifite Kingdom is singing your praise mm. because of the great development you have brought into this kingdom. If you go ahead and approve of the restructuring of this plan, Igwe, <laughs> it will make people lose confidence in you as a king whose word is supposed to be law. That is what I have to say about it. I, I, I promise you, I give you my words, that I will look into the matter with immediate effect. I will. Your Highness, um, we thought we should come around and uh, let you know the latest. We should be on our way, Your Highness. Okay. Right. May you live long.
ashamed of yourselves? Eh? You're fighting for in the, in the middle of the road. It's, it's your good number. Ara, Ara, Obagun. My prince, you caused it. Hey, 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 shut up. You're a total disgrace to women. Jesus. How dare you to be fighting just like this? Are you okay? Now leave it there. Come. What was the matter? My prince, I caught her right handed with my boyfriend. And she called herself my best friend. Hey! I leave it on her way! You see? You are fighting over a man. Now leave it there. Kunu now lock because of work. If you were fighting over a man. Hey! I leave it there. Jesus! Jesus! Hi! Hi! How are you? 19, my prince. 19? Go on, how old are you? 17. 17? Who knows what? I'm sorry, my prince. Megus, my leave that. Eh? How can two grown up creatures, beautiful creatures like you, be fighting over a man? Can you imagine? Yes, you're shameless, I'm You think none of the wicked just do well? Bottom moon, not walk, bottom moon, not walk, do we? Revising my orders to suit your selfish desires. How could you? But I don't understand. Why are you speaking this way? I mean, who did what is best for this kingdom? Oh, in doing what is best for your kingdom, you are turning my own people against me. That's not true, Dad. That's not true. What did we do? We can't remember disobeying your orders. Or even turning your people against you. Will you keep quiet? Who asked you to take over the hospital project I promised the people and turn it to a hotel project? Who asked you to do that? Well, but, but Dad, we thought you should be happy for us. Of course, Dad. That's a very smart way of investing more money. Make more money for you. We can even improve on the health centers scattered all over Ifite, even the general hospital near the neighboring town. Yes, Dad. This is outrageous. Uh, no, Dad. It is not. At all. Dad, why should you speak in that manner? Then you know, going by the spirit of um, um, the hospitality business in town, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a bad idea if you should add another one. And that you remember that it is situated at a very good site, which means after completion, that place is going to be a bomb. I can't believe this is happening. Do you people think that everything is about money? No. Is that what Dad, you think? Dad, that's universal language. You Will you keep quiet? What is universal language? You dare not interrupt me while I'm still talking. I have seen your father and the king of Ifite. We have enough money, enough to feed our family, even our generations yet unborn. Have you people ever thought of living for the people? A life of sacrifice, have you ever thought of that? Now listen to me. I don't want to see you on that side anymore. Have I made myself clear? 
Have I made myself clear? Your dad, you just want to create more money for the family. More business. Now, both of you, get out of my sight. Get out of my sight! inside. Whom were you yelling at? Woman, you have to talk to your sons. Why are they bent on soiling my reputation? Why? Eh? My husband, you have to take it easy with this boy too. Eh? Remember what the doctor said about your health. How could they change my hospital project I promised the people to a hotel project without my consent? Is it proper? Is that why you're giving yourself this headache? Eh? I know my children too well. Maybe that move will yield more profit than the hospital. Check it, why are Hey! Hey! You hear yourself talking? Just like your sons. Oh, so you people think that everything is about money? We have this money! We have it to take care of ourselves and our generations yet unborn. What we need to do now is to consider what our people need. Consider what they need. How could you support such, such wicked and outrageous project? How could you support that? Your no, no, I, I am disappointed. Your Highness, see, you have to calm down. Eh? Remember the situation of your health. Bikopao. Woman, please get out of my sight. I want to be left alone. Eh? I said leave. But. Oh. Money, 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 money. Mom, I have made up my mind. Henceforth, I'm going to withdraw all scholarships and goodwill I render to the people of this community. And that is it. Uh-uh. Richard, I didn't raise you to be that. Huh? I know you as a good person that has the welfare of the people at heart. Pick on one. Please, my son, think Why twice, you okay? Uh -huh, mama. Okay. <gasps> There's nothing to think about, Mama. I have thought about it. Do you know the damage that has caused on me? Do you know what that has done to my reputation and my political ambition? Do you know what it has done? I mean, if you want to remove a politician or you're not happy with his performance or so, the best way to do that is through the polls. Did you see the kind of violence that erupted there? And you're telling me to calm down and take it easy, Mama. No. Vivian, why don't you talk to your husband? His hot temper will spoil things sometimes. Mama, I spoke to him this morning. I mean, there's no need collecting what you're giving to the people out of goodwill. It's wrong. I don't care. We care. Where your family will love you. Just relax and look for the loopholes. We feel it and then we move on to victory. All I know is they should go back to their sponsors. Whoever sponsored them to come and disrupt what I was doing should carry on from where I stopped with their scholarship and the goodwill and their well-being. And that's my point. Not me. I'm done. Richard, listen to your wife. Baby. Baby, please listen! Mama, I... How could you both embarrass your father like that? By changing his hospital project to a hotel? Mom, we didn't embarrass our dad. Mama, I was expecting you to be on our side, to support us. Exactly my point. Mama, we are just trying to build a very strong business empire. There is world of emulation all over Africa. A strong business dynasty. We are contented with the one we are blessed with. Now, to the more important issue. It is time you get married and settle down. No more excuses. Mom. Shut up. I am not yet done. You both are the pride of this community. And everybody is looking up to you to do the right thing. Once you pick a bride, the Moby will confirm you the heir. And everything will fall in place. 
What seems to be the problem? Or should I assist in picking a bride for the both of you? No, Mama. Mom, relax now. You're working yourself up. Relax. Huh? I'll again again get water and wine. Make again one. Mom, relax. I will pick a woman for myself. I will do it. The decision is becoming too much. Then you both should get to work and stop wasting precious time. No, we'll get to work. Good. Back up one more. Is there another thing? I had a mom. Mom, I made it! Your daughter made it! What is it? Guess. Who? I am too excited to guess what's making you smile so lovely. Come on, Break now. the news. Mommy, guess a little. Come on, try something. I can't guess. Mom, I know you're intelligent. Try a little bit. I am, but right now I can't guess. Okay. Please. I have finally secured a job. How? <laughs> how? Oh, oh, I mean, how did it happen? When we had already lost hope and decided you joined the family company. Here. It says that I am now the head of operations to Hakro Oil Company. An oil company? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm so happy for you, Mama. Not child. done yet. Mm -mm. It comes with an official car and a sprawling apartment. Wow! How, uh, what, how much is the salary? Mom, are you seriously asking me that? Yes, nah, that know. is confidential. I'm not telling you. <laughs> That's my little secret. Come on. Come on, my daughter. Tell me. Okay, I will let it out because you're my party. That's my baby girl. It's in six figures. Figures? You know what that means, right? Wow! That's a lot of money. Please, 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 hurry and break the news to your father. Hurry. Mom, please. I'm going to cut work to my dad. Because right now, Take I this to him! Mom, it. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't I thank you. I am so happy for you. Look at you. They have already decided to join your family company. Now you have a new job in the oil sector. Ha! <laughs> My sister Nagodo, you know, all this while, I've been trying to see how I can make my father understand my dream of carving a niche for myself in the oil sector. You're correct. Now my dream has come to pass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, you're out of the castle. Uh -huh. Free from <sighs> out of boredom. Seriously. My father's father. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So thank you, mother. She's fine. <laughs> She's fine. Wow. See, see this appointment cause for celebration. I hope you came prepared. Of course I came prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, why am I here? Get ready, let's go out. I'm going to spoil you. Uh -huh. I'll make sure you have fun. <laughs> That's my God. <laughs> You're so done in me. Let me get my hand back. All right. What if it is my destiny? By monkey, by fire, by fast, I must roll up. What if it is my destiny? By monkey, by fire, by fast, I must roll up.
I am very happy that you honored my invitation. It's a thing of joy to me and I appreciate that. You're welcome. As you all know, I have been a philanthropist and a good politician in this community. All about me is about progress and development and how to bring that into this community. But lately, I do not understand. There's been some, some kind of negative influence and negative elements in this community who have decided that um, good things would not last. I was having my campaign a few days ago and some youths came and disturbed, disrupted and chased everybody away and that did not go down well with me. So I called the youths of this community to ask why this recklessness and why this sudden form of irresponsibility? Why? Uh, honorable. Am I going to go in? Yes. Am I going to go in? Yes. yes. Um, you know me too well. Uh, first of all, I, I must commend you for all you've done for this community. Since we came to know you as a person, you've done many good things for us. And we quite appreciate that. Thank you. But uh, on this issue in question, it is highly sensitive. In fact, let me be candid with you. The position you are seeking for right now, I don't think you can get it because we have someone who have decided that will go for us. But he will not get that position. I'm not going to talk with you. I mean, this is politics. Everybody has a level playing field. All you need to do is come out, campaign, bring out your manifesto, convince the people to vote for you, and if they vote for you, you go. You don't have to restrict or limit it to anybody. I mean, we can all contest the position. Let us stop beating around the bush. Richard, we are the one that disturb your campaign because you have no right to contest any political post in this community. It's not been done like that. Thank you, pardon. Guinea was Yoku, what is what are they talking about? Um Honorable Richard, I think it's time we tell you the truth. Which is um you see the position you're seeking for. You cannot get it. You cannot get it because it is solely reserved for sons and daughters of this community. Wow. In the wow. Wow. It's okay. It's okay. You are not from here. Ah. And when a man does not know his root, that man may make a mistake. Yes. So yes. go and trace your root. You are not from here. That position, I'm going to have a I want. Mama, tell me, who am I? You're Richard. I don't know what you're talking about. Where is this statement coming from? Mama, don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because all my life, I have never been humiliated the way I was recently. Tell me who I am. Let me know what I'm doing. Okay, fine. You are my son. I am your mother. I carried you for nine good months in my womb. Start telling me the truth now because if you don't, I will leave this village and nobody will ever set eyes on me again. Okay. 
reach out to you on my son. All right, I will talk. Richard, I am your mother. Fine. I didn't want to tell you all this because I loved you. And I wanted to protect you. Protect me from what? Mama, talk to me. What are you talking about? Richard, your father is from Ifite Kingdom. Kept you so long. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, my love. I was with my mother. I think she's suspecting I'm having an affair with you. No. Please. Did you tell her anything? I'm in trouble. She's going to kill me. I will tell her everything. You see? You are the woman I want to spend my life with. I love you. And this, she must know. I don't think it's a good idea. The queen, your mother, I know would never support of you marrying me. I mean nobody. My prince, you have royal blood. I'm but a common maid. A common maid who has found favor in the sight of the prince. Go back to your chambers. I will tell her everything about us. My prince, you can't do this, please. Please don't. Don't tell her anything. I don't think it's a good idea. It's okay. It's okay. My prince. It's okay. Go back. My prince, but. It's okay. Go back. My prince. My prince. Yeah. Son, are you okay? Mother, there is something very important I want to discuss with you. Uh, go ahead, I'm out here. Yes. Hope all is well. I have found a woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Wow, that's a great news. You see, I've been expecting this from you for quite some time now. Ha! Huh. You are a crown prince. Soon you'll be a king. And um, who is this lucky girl that has succeeded in stealing the heart of my adorable son? I mean, who is she? And which royal family is she from? She is not from a royal family. She is Nenna. What? Nenna? The daughter of my late cook? No. No. Mother, I know she is not from a royal family. But I have lived with this girl like a sister and a friend. The bond between us is so strong. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I love her mother. Please. You must be out of your mind. I noticed there is something between you two. But I never knew it would come to this level. Look. You will never marry her. A common mate with no background. Never. You will not. <sighs> Please mother. I love her so much. Shut up! Shut up your mouth! What do you know about love? Son, I want the best for you! You cannot marry her! Never you will not! And by the way, where is that useless girl? Where is she? <laughs> 
The only reason I'm allowing you to walk away is because of your mother. She served me when, when she was alive as a cook. And you, you want to reap where you did not sow. No, ma. Go digger, that's what you are. No, ma. And listen and listen very well. If I ever see you close to my son or near this palace, I will kill you. And I will surely do that. Will you get out of my side? Get out! My queen, please, I have nowhere else to go. This palace is all I've come to know as my home. I have no other place out there. You no did way. not think about this. Please, please. Come on, leave me. God! Your Highness. Show her out of this palace. I don't want to set my eyes on her again. Do you hear me? Come on, leave me. Come on, go! My queen, you will let me. My queen, please. My queen. Get out! That was how I left the palace and never returned. I didn't know that. I was a few weeks pregnant when I met my husband. I married him a year after I might have gotten you. He loved you and accepted you as his own. We all know how he died in a motor accident together with your siblings on their way back from school. We all think that memory. I'm sorry that I kept you in the dark. Um, so, who is my biological father? Is, is, is he still alive? Can, can, can I trace him in any way? Yes, son. Your father is alive. Why did mom keep all of this away from me? Now she has ruined my political ambition. Baby, don't be angry with mom like that. She told you the reason she did what she did. I'm a woman. I will go to any extent to protect my children. Not to this extent, honey. Do you know the damage this revelation has done to my career? Do you know the emotional instability she has put me into? Do you know the damage this has done to my political career? To think I've been busy rendering my services to total strangers. Now what becomes of my ambition to go to the National Assembly now that I have a change of identity? What, what do I do about that? There's always a way. Just pick up the pieces of your life. Let's just move on. Please. It's not as easy as you think. This is going to be very, very difficult. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm. Listen to me. A journey of a million miles starts with a step. Take that step. And I promise you, I will always be there for you. Okay? Thank you, baby. Thank you. I love you too. Wait! Hey, wait, wait! Uh -uh. 
Uh, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, and you, young man, how are you? I'm good. Okay, okay. So who are you looking for? We are looking for King Harrison. King Harrison? Yes. On appointment, personal intention or community problem? We want to see him. I served the mother a long time ago. And? It's a matter of life and death. Hmm? Yes. yes, it's really a matter of life and death. Uh, and um, what is your name? My name is Nenna. Nenna. That's Nenna, yeah? Uh, I, young man, your name? My name is Richard. Oh, Richard. It's okay. It's okay. Let me just wait. Let me. Okay. Mm. Ah! Come on, Naga. I thought we'd come along. Just like that, it's not any chief. You go to the go to your Sorry. See, stand here. Don't, as in, if you move from this place, you are standing here, you will not see him again. Just stand this place. What? You don't have to drop the gate. We will wait here. See, oh, my brother, walk it out of the Just wait that place. Let me confirm the safety and uh, inform the ego of your arrival. Then you can come in. Look at them. Oh, be aware. Any movement. Umakiji caught one. Um, see, Igwe. On your way home. Sir, no, Yes, what is it? Igwe, when again. There is a man and a woman outside the gate. They say they want to see you. And they also say I should tell you that it's very, very important. What are their names and what do they want? Igwe, she... Okay, she says she used to work for your mother far back and also said i should tell you that it's a matter of life and death <laughs> her name is nenna nenna hey, please ask her to come ask her to come nenna could she still be alive Just can see. It's okay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Chan, chan. Don't go there and disgrace yourself. You are going to see the king. If you reach there, comport one way. Happy work, EJ. Because the way I'm looking at you, you are just rushing in to go and see him. If you disgrace yourself, he will send you out. So if you reach there, comport yourself and talk to him. Come on, church. <laughs> Is this really you, Nana? Where have you been all this while? I thought we were dead. Mother, why are you this wicked? Mother, you have used your wickedness to send this poor girl away. Mother, have you brought that to ask where this girl would go to? Mother, this is the only home she knows. Mother, why are you this wicked? 
Mother, you are so wicked. So wicked. How dare you talk to me in that manner because of a common man? She is not a common man. Then who is she? She is the woman I love. She is the woman I want to get married to. Mother, if anything, anything happened to that girl, I will not forgive you. I searched everywhere for you. I didn't find you. I gave up when there was no, no, no more traces of you. I was forced to write that letter by your mother. She asked me to leave and never to return. My whole life was threatened, so I had to leave. You should have contacted me. I was heartbroken then. Well, that is in the past. This is your son. Son, that's your father. I was two weeks pregnant when I left the palace. Welcome, son. You have the eyes of your father. What do you mean? You think you can come into my house and lay some useless claims? You must be out of your mind. Hey, hey woman. Keep out of this, please. Keep out of this. My son. My son is coming. Come, my son, come to me. Come. My father. What if it is my destiny? I don't care. You know, huh? you send us so gentle on the phone. What's the matter? The worst has happened. Mom, you're getting us confused here. What? What is the problem? Your father has a son, and he has come to take over the kingship from you. Mom, are you joking? That's impossible. It can't happen over my dead body. It is true, my children. A woman walked in here claiming she had a son for your father. You're not serious, Mom. It's unbelievable! Do you know her? Have you seen her before? No, I've not met her. That was many years ago, before I got married to your father. Where's my father? Come on, come on, come on! He should be in his chambers. No, you... You should take it. It's... No way, Dad. I can't believe you swallow such a lie. Those people are god diggers. That is not true. That woman was my first love. She has no reason to lie. If not the fact that my late mother never liked her, she would have been my wife. My daddy, have you have you done any paternal or DNA test to ascertain if he's truly your son or not? Well, that is not necessary. It is necessary, Dad. It is necessary. Don't even pretend as if it's not an important issue to discuss. Except you have made up your mind for him to succeed you. Listen, you people are unnecessarily feeling insecure. You're worrying yourself unnecessarily. I, I hope you understand my own point. Dad! What is this I'm hearing? Breaking news, my dear. Daddy has rented a son to take my place as the heir apparent to the throne. Dad better have served you. With all my strength, with all loyalty. With a dignified honesty, Daddy. What have I done? Can you Will you shut your trap? Keep quiet! My dear, don't mind them. It's not true. It's a long story anyway. 
But the fact is that my son from another woman just returned. That is it. Dad, I don't understand. Are you trying to tell us that you've been cheating on our mom? I don't understand. Look, Dad, you have to be very careful so you don't do anything that will hurt this family. Maybe this your son should submit himself to a DNA test. No. I just said so. You want to understand me? See, immediately I set my eyes on my child. I knew he was my son. Besides, he's a successful politician in this state. You don't need to feel insecure. And for your information, he will be introduced to the family and the community at large next week. What? Really? Yes. And I want everybody to get ready to welcome me. What? Dad, are you joking? I am not. That's the truth. What is it? My princess, calm down. Calm down. Every situation is under control. Calm down. There's no need to panic. Dad, please. You have to reconsider. This is devastating. This is going to destroy our family. Calm down. Nothing is going to happen. Okay? Dad, please reconsider, please. This is really going. This is devastating. This is going to destroy this family, please. No, I beg you. No, no, no. Don't no. fall apart. I, I, I was a wife and papa will look at me. This is don't fall apart. I, I, I was a wife and will look at me. You know, say, every story has a tell. Every tell has a story. My neighbors is a family. Mm. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. <laughs> it all happened like a dream, honestly. I met my biological father today. Yes, my love. My own husband, Richard KK Prince. What an upliftment. Maybe you are going to be the king of if it's a kingdom. <laughs> Funny, you know I'm not interested in being any kind of king in any kingdom. All I'm interested in is my political career. Moreover, the woman I met there at the palace today, whom I think is my father's wife, didn't look or sound so welcoming. He was, she was kind of hostile. Really? Yes. But anyway, that is so irrelevant. Baby, don't, don't think about her. The most important thing right now is you've met your biological father. Yes. And he accepted you. So, don't think about that woman. Thank you, baby. Welcome. I'm so happy for you. Finally, my mind can be at peace. I, um. I have a home. I have a father. I have traced my roots. What kind of fuck of rubbish is that? Even now that I'm only the person in this palace now, all of them has gone out. You are still disturbing me and the dog. What, what, is, what is your problem? Eh? See, I'm a good boost, uh, uh, a good blower. Um, um, 
you know what? Get man or whatever you call yourself. Chief. Or Chief Get Man or whatever chief, you call chief yourself. Chief Security. Please. Oh. I, I don't need anyone to interrupt me here. As you can see, I'm rehearsing. And I don't think you know where you belong to. Because if you know where you belong to, you will not be here saying all this nonsense you're saying. Let me meet meet you, Leave my presence. Let me meet you, what, what do you know you're blowing? I started blowing this thing. This, this was what I was using to pay my house rent before I, I, I joined Palace Work. And if you mess up, I will send you out and bring another blowist. What you make the king? See, let me tell you something you don't know. See, if you can go and ask other kings, King Herod in, in, uh, in um, Amapo village, I'm on a I am the blower. Go and ask him. And you are here talking rubbish. Can you leave my presence? Go, please. Don't worry. Very soon the king will bring this to the challenge. Wake up, boy. If he's alive with action, don't wait for events to pass you by. Make it happen. My future, my hope, and my beliefs are fading away right before my very own eyes. Now I know when they say each day holds a surprise, even if we don't expect to see it or even feel it. But it comes to us anyways. But I'm a man. I'm never afraid of surprises, whether they come to me as sorrow or joy. But I know that it must surely open a place in my heart, either to hate or to love. I'm a man, and I will never run away from my destiny. <laughs> ah, you scared me, Emeka. I got a last. What's your problem? You're so worked up. The recent happiness in the family is really confusing me. To be honest, I've run out of ideas. I've run out of solutions. That's why I'm here. I have a plan. You do? Yes. Are you sure it will work? 100% positive. To work. So calm down, relax. Hmm? Get your car. See what you will do, eh? Just try and. It's okay. Never keep your tongue. They will, they will eat your job for you. I for you on your banana. Unti. Chicken koni inyo o uta resistanta. Mama, ala ba chela o mama mili mechi. What are you doing with my fleet? Let me inside. Um, okay. So this thing that you are even using to disturb the, the king is not even water resistant. Oh, if you buy now, eh? Do you think you are the only one that can blow this thing? I, I used to blow it. Do you know you're just a common criminal? Yeah, if you be using your jam. If there is worry or down, worry or down, water, I'm not. Make sound out of it. Let me see. Just sound. Oh, you want water? Well, you want water. Oh, don't. Ah, ah, ah. Be a be. Uh, which one do you want? Or should I be on a more hip hop? Let me know the side I'm blowing from. Do you see why I say that you're common criminal? It's okay. It's okay. 
Bueno, ya. O sea, debe. Ok. Let me give you the cow old one. When you're your job, we're not your job. Stop! Stop! Give me. You're your job. Listen. There is fire on the mountain. I cannot sit back and watch the possessions of my children taken away from me. Arinze, you have to get married at once. I thought you were about to suggest a more direct approach. Do not try to change the topic. If you had gotten married long ago, you would have been the crown prince of this kingdom. Can't you see we are losing it? This Richard of a boy is married, which puts him in a better position to become the next king. I think the mom is correct. We need to do all we can do so that he will name you the next heir to the throne. Then other things will follow up. Good talk, my son. I cannot sit and watch more surprises spring up. I can't! Oh, my man. This is life, the life we are living, the more you love. Oh, my God. The less you see, thank you. The less you understand, still really want to know. Mama, I'll talk to him. There's nothing to worry about. You better talk to him. Can't you see we are losing the fight? We can't lose. Who will need a boroso? Huh? Let me check out and never lose before. We can't. What are we going to do now? This is bad news. I can't sit and watch a total stranger walk into my home and take what rightfully belongs to my children. I am still the queen of Ifide Kingdom. This whole thing is like a dream to me. Mother, with his arrival, Arinzi is no longer the firstborn. He is no longer heir to the throne of Ifite Kingdom. Over my dead body. That is why I have accelerated my moves to strengthen your brother's positions. Mother, I seriously doubt if there is anything we can do about this. Dad has already made his final decision. Care. He made his points clear. I don't care. All that matters most to me is my children's happiness. And I must do everything within my power to make sure I restore their position. This is life. The life we are living. The more you love. The less you see, the less you understand.
father. My son. My son. <laughs> Thank you. Dad, 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 yeah. I've been meaning to ask. Why do the maids and the guards have to kneel or bow whenever they see any member of the royal household? And why all this fanfare? Why? My son, in our tradition, that is a mark of respect for royalty. And as a prince that you are, you deserve such respect. I know, Father. I know, but don't you think those things are in the old time past? Like, don't you think it's a cake? This is the modern age. People don't do all of that anymore. My dear son, from that it take time till date, that respect has been there, and no one has been able to change it. But but let's 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 forget that one. Let's talk about necessary things. You said there was something important you wanted to discuss with me. Yes, Father. Go ahead and listen. Okay, Father, I, I need a favor from you. I need a portion of land. I want to build and establish a school. A school that will benefit all disabled persons in Ifite. I want them to attend freely, free of charge, and have quality education. Free of charge. It's something I want to do for our people, and I pray you assist me in getting it done. What? This is great. My son, this is great. Ah. See, see, you don't have anything to worry about this at all. Your request is granted. Thank you, Father. It's granted, and that portion of land will be given to you. Thank you so much, Father. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey! This is what I'm talking about. This is living for the people. A life of sacrifice. Oh my gosh. My son, I am with you 100% in this project. Thank you so much. And whatever you think, I can come in to assist. Let me know. I sure will, Dad. Oh my God. I will. I, I was pondering about it and then I, I felt maybe I should just come throw it up and see if you would assist. This is wonderful. Thank you, Father. Hey, brothers. Who's your brother? 
So you think you can badge into my father's palace and steal the throne from me? Huh? Like a thief in the night. It's like you both are into drugs or there's something you sniff that gets into your head. What rubbish are you talking about the throne and who even told you I'm interested in the throne? Look at this pretender. Look at this worst pretender. Look, Richard or whatever they call you. As long as we, the rightful owners and members of this royal dynasty are concerned, you are nothing but a gold digger. My friend, get out from here! Get out of my sight! Look at this one. Oh, you think you can come and read from where you did not sow? Nonsense. Leno Nyara. Richard, stay out of my way. No, you stay out of my way, you both. Okay? The fact that I am quiet does not mean I'm a weakling. If you do not stay away from my path, I will crush you. I will slice you like fruitcakes. Otule, look at you. You think you have money? You think you have money? We will show you why we are called Wunde Wenzuak. Can you imagine this maga? Just, 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 okay? The reason I'm having this conversation with you in the first place is simply because of my father. Else I will make you both disappear. <laughs> Did you hear me? Arizona. I'll say, I'll say, you will make us disappear. One and two, good one. Two, no, no. Arizona. I'll say, I'll say, you will make us disappear. Lenu, 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 Lenu. Now you make us disappear. Hey. Oh, Rakana. You both don't know who I am. You're a product of one night stand. Hey! You go up the game full. Come and take the throne. What to let? You know who we are talking to? Amy Jakarta. <laughs> look at him. Look at this one nice stand. One nice stand. What to take over the throne? I will show you what this product of a one night stand can do. I will tell you why I am called Ochiaga. Mamba, mamba, bere bere. Just, 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 just bere bere. Bere bere. Uh, what's your name? Oh yeah, it's a no hair. Now, only so that you disappear, he will make us disappear. He will make us disappear. My love, don't get yourself all worked up about this. Worked up, you said? They threatened me because they felt I was after the throne? And you're telling me not to get worked up? Baby, don't forget they are your brothers. People are out there looking at you to fail. This is the chance you have to make it right with your family. Not destroying it. They are the ones who are destroying it. I mean, I can't sit back and watch them box me into a spot. No. I will fight back and damn every consequence. My love, just relax. Just relax, okay? Why not just go inside and freshen up while I set the table? Okay. What if it is my destiny? I can by fire, by force. I must rule up. What if it is my destiny? I can by fire, by force. I must rule up. Princess, you sounded too worried when you called. What is going on? Anyway, how is work? Work is fine, but that's not why I called you. Okay. <clears throat> Joan, you have to help me. My family is in a big dilemma. I didn't know who else to call except you. What is going on? You know you can't tell me anything. I'm your friend. You see, that's, that's why I said I wanted to see you. His place as the crown prince is being threatened. And until he gets married, he will not be named the crown heir to Ifite Kingdom. Oh, my. Babe! This is more difficult than I thought. Marriage is a long-term commitment. And your brother barely recognizes me. We've not even talked for a second. Not to talk of marriage. That's because he's always busy. <sighs> But trust me, I can make things work. Yes. Please, help me, Joanne. Help my family. Seriously, you're really putting me in a very difficult situation. How do you even...
marriage. Tobias, call um tuberculosis. Kedi find out about the good self. You sent for us, so what is it again? This will be the first and last time you will open your mouth and call me Tobias or tuberculosis in this palace. Eh? And it will be the last warning I'm giving because I don't have a spare warning. <sighs> Any day you dare address me as that, as Tobias or whatever you call itself. Tobias now. Ara boy. Eh? You don't dare address me as Tobias because the king has already made me the chief security officer. Leyebe. Obundiche. So don't try it again. Please, 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 Oga, chief security officer. Why did you send for us? Why did you call us? Uh, <laughs> uh, I have a good news for you, girls. Good news? Yes. And what could that be? I know. Give one. You in particular. I'm a, you never believe that anything good will come out from me, okay? In fact, for that reason, I'm not saying anything. Go back to your duty pose. You go to where you are washing. Hi. Tobias, one, um, one more time. Oh, see, uh, <laughs> Guanai now, Guanai, so where is it now? Tell us. Oh, this touching alone, you can call me Tobias. Oh, <laughs> I can yeah. answer for the last time. Um, <clears throat> you see, the, the queen confided in me to help her search for girls' wives for the song. Oh. The two songs. Seriously? Yes, and oh. being the contractor, I've decided to offer you girls the chance. On one condition, oh, Which condition? See it now. What condition is that? Hey, uh, Ima, you cannot just cook soup and submit to the king without testing it. Maka poison and ehoza. You don't just do that. Yeah, he show for buri ota abuche. Ige buti e lele yamano. So for that reason, three of you will bring yourself for me to <laughs> yes <laughs> to know. Among you, which one is the sweetest to be sweet for the prince? So, Are you all right? Huh? Are you sure you are all right? So, this is why you called us out here. Please, 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 let's get Major, out here. Let's go, Jerry. I can't blame you. It's not your fault. Sorry. Chukun, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going she's not from this kingdom. She don't she don't even behave like us. Look at those I want to help. What if it is my destiny? I don't care. By fire, by force, I must rule up. What if it is my destiny? I don't care. You know, I I decided to come with myself by myself to deliver this particular message. <laughs> uh, you see, I I know you people do not hear of the good news that happened in my life. Chineke Bluewo Melu. The Igwe actually made me a chief. Yes, as a get man. Yes. So because of that reason, uh, me and Lolo, the relationship between me and Lolo is now very tight. Anya akurugo ka ngalaba. Congrats. Eh, you are welcome, my dear. Mention it. See, I came here because of a, a purpose. You see, Lolo has contracted me to be the contractor of the prince's wives. <laughs> <Are you serious? laughs> See, as it stands now, I am the person that is going to bring the two girls that the two princes will marry. Marriage? <laughs> What's the marriage? Yeah. So, I, I looked around. Because he had a virgin. And with the look of things, oh, more crack, crack, pimple, guy, go see, we be him or the lower. See, but the little thing you people have to be doing is to bring money, cause in here we is more competition. I'm going to go make a road trip. Many people, many people want these two prints, but I'm just rejecting them because of you, two of you. Eh? You have to be bringing money so that we now we will do it. Like, uh, how much are we talking about? Ha! Huh. This thing, you don't need a specific amount to say. It depends on the one you want, you know. They have a fair prince and a black prince. Which one do you the want? Black. Eh? The black. No, me, I want the black one. You can the take black. the fair person. I choose him first, the black. Hey, you know what you're doing now, man. <laughs> See, uh, because you want the black one, eh? Black one is 40,000. It's very, very costly. Eh? 40,000 naira. That's what you will bring. 
for mm -hmm. for the black goat, a uh, black prince. Uh -huh. So you, uh, w which one do you want? Fair wamba. Um, there is a problem. Oh. What is the problem? I am not a virgin. Hey. Udubu. Wonderful. I'm not surprised. It's, it's not even a problem. <laughs> With the look of this, I'm here. Uh, it's okay. Given the fair price, it's not a, a, a virgin. Uh, so you people, let the black bury the black. The white bury themselves. Eh? See, what will happen you now for not being a virgin? Uh, hey. It will matter. It will matter. 25,000 for the good, no, for the prince. So that is what will last. Oh, hi, Anna. Anything less than 25,000 for, for this thing will not collect. But I can pay half, half. No, you can just be paying half, half. There is no problem. But anything you have, just can bring. Even a virgin. Yes. Hey. <laughs> it's okay. So you can bring anything. Just, just, my, my boss also. Okay. Uh, just bring, Let me bring, bring half of my money. Go, go, come bring. So you have money in this house? What of you? You own okay. I don't have money now. Yeah. But you will bring. Yeah, I will save I will save some money and I'll bring it to you. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's no problem. It's no problem. Uh, I will be okay. But make sure you deliver. Ah, why won't I? It's no problem. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, see what will happen. This one and key water will go a long way. Uh, because you people have to do fast. Q no, line no. People, neighboring villages, everybody want these two prints. So you will you will bring bring money so that we will do it, yeah? You uh, will alone. I don't have money. But Good. I can pay later now. You don't have money. But I can save up and pay later. Ha. I don't know what virgin or quality you want here. Go and quit basing It's okay. We know what we we'll do about it. Hey, did you people cook anything? Like any any food? It must not be the same quality with the one I eat in the palace. Just I'm not going to have quite a tray. I want to have a quite a Yes. I want to have. Offer. Offer. Can't wait. Be be much. Be much. We pray for that. Get this. We pray for that. Give me a chair. Chair. I was not. Hey, what was Please don't, 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 don't harm me. Don't kill me. I'll give you anything you want. We are not here for the money. Stay away from the real family. Stay away from the palace. Or else, you, you, will, you will live to tell the story. This is just a warning. He said, this is just a warning. Warning. I've heard you. Let's leave. This is just a warning. Okay. Richard, I warned you. This is the reason I didn't want to tell you who you really are. I wanted to protect you, my son. Yeah. Mama, they have not seen anything. They had the gods to send their thugs after me. Moa, I will tell them I'm a politician and I'm strong in this game. I will match them with whatever fire they bring. But baby, I've been thinking. Don't you think this attack is from one of your political opponents? I don't think your brothers are responsible for this. They are responsible for it. I know those guys. I know what they are capable of. I know the threats they have thrown at me. But I will match them power for power. I can't run away from my father's house. I cannot. I'm a man. Who even told them I was interested in their throne? Richard, you're a stubborn man. But please, I beg of you to be careful. I I don't want anything to happen to you. I'm going to be careful. Child, please. Please, you are my only surviving son. Please, Richard. Please. They will kill you. Please. Kill me, Just be careful. Look at it. They hear me my home, Mama. You're not saying be careful. Be careful. Look at my body. It was a kahab wogi. I got my buha before a womb. I will kill them before they get close to me. 
They have drawn the line and I am set for this war. Hey! Richard! Mama, you know my husband. He will never listen to such idea. His roots mean so much to him. Even at the expense of his life. My daughter. His stepbrothers are against him. Yes, I agree he wants to be connected to his roots. But I fear for his life. All I plead is for him to let them be. His life is more important to me. Mama, his life is important to me too. But you know, Richard, he will never be controlled. Mama, you, you talk as if you don't know your son. Richard will never listen to anyone that attempts to stop him from being in touch with his father. See, it can never be the same. A lot of forces is against him. They're all interested in pushing him out of the way, daughter. Eh? I shouldn't have told him all this. Mama, don't talk like that. And watch him blame me for the rest of your life. Mama, don't be like this. Don't blame yourself. All we need to do now is just advise him to be watchful and prayerful. Please. I pray it's never too late. Mama, nothing will be too late. You do have to stop this, please. Please just calm down. My love, you're not looking cheerful. Why do you want us to postpone our engagement? When you know my father wants to present me as the heir, he's really worried about the delay. I know he's worried, but I think I need a little time to inform my father about your intention to get married to me. Oh, God. What is bothering you? What is taking the beautiful smile on your face when you know your face? And just my makes my day. I'm fine. I just have some personal issues I'm dealing with, but I'll be okay. Okay, you know what? Let's go to a quiet place where we can talk. Okay, um, you just have to put a smile on your face, please. Let me get my bag. Okay, I'm waiting. <sighs> we cannot continue like this. How can we, the use of this land, just fold our arms and watch Prince Arins and Emeka just treat us like slaves? Slaves? Do you say slaves? We are worse than slaves. We now live in fear. We have lost our voices. Nobody saying anything. Our fathers have also lost their voices and strength. Nobody saying anything. Even a single soul, nobody is saying anything. We must do something to stop them all. We can't continue like this. Yes. How can we do anything? Whereas we have saboteurs even amongst us. They've already bought them with money. Don't be surprised that before we finish this meeting, everything we'll discuss here will reach their ears. Hi. Oh. My brother, this is serious. What do we do? We cannot continue like this. This is serious. It's getting out of hand. We must do something about it. We must act fast now, please. Yes, he's right. What do we do? Um, are you sure we've watched those and so on? Everything I say is the truth too. I'm very sure. Um, Namdi, the youth leader, is the center of everything. And they are even planning to revolt against uh, Prince uh, Ariz and uh, Emeka. So, I... <laughs> um, Udo, thanks for the information. Hmm? 
man kay tiro nya bugol man kay tiro ya bugol man um just this is fine eh is angom body eh any info you understand you but listen open your eyes and ears to the ground hmm? any info just get chala you what go ba se walo eh to walo na on se walo get walo Oh, 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 oh. Honorable youth leader, right? Youth leader. Uh, yeah, youth leader. I thought you were wise. I thought you were wise. But now I gotta find out that you're a big fool. I'm uh, sorry, a bigger fool. What is the meaning of this? And what are you doing in my house? Hey, Swanepido, come on, shut up. Listen, it has come to our notice that you are instigating the youth of this land against the two rightful princes of this kingdom. But one day, I try to get to God. I believe in the truth. And I will always stand for the truth. Richard is the first son of the king of this kingdom. So, he is heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom. I see you don't listen to the voice of man. Rather, you listen to the voice of. What in it? You know what? You know what? You know what? Leave every dirty activities you're doing out there. Else. Else. Tidon. 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 Mama, you know my husband. He will never listen to such idea. His roots mean so much to him. Even at the expense of his life, my daughter, his stepbrothers are against him. Yes, I agree he wants to be connected to his roots. But I fear for his life. All I plead is for him to let them be. His life is more important to me. Mama, his life is important to me too. But you know, Richard, he will never be controlled. Mama, you, you talk as if you don't know your son. Richard will never listen to anyone that attempts to stop him from being in touch with his father. See, it can never be the same. A lot of forces is against him. They are all interested in pushing him out of the way, daughter. Huh? I shouldn't have told him all this. Mama, don't talk like that. Stuff. And watch him blame me for the rest of your life. Mama, don't be like this. Don't blame yourself. All we need to do now is just advise him to be watchful and prayerful. Please. I pray it's never too late. Mama, nothing will be too late. You have to stop this, please. Please just calm down. This madness must end today. Yes, 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 yes. it must yes. end. They came to my house and molested me. No amount of intimidation will make me go against the will and the wish of the king. Or my own king. Never. Yes, never, never, never. Wish is that we shall succeed. Of course. Yes. Yes. I don't really understand what is happening. Listen and listen good, every one of you. We must resist every of the intimidation and oppression! Yes! yes! We must! Yes! 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 We must! <laughs> and I will see how strong your resistance looks like. Hey! Come on, dear. You move. 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 You move
If you make any move, hmm? Where do you get Bugo or the offense? I will just send you straight to your ancestors. When the Logodi, Logodi, you see that? You see that? What's in Chaku Chaku? Bikolo. What up? Oh, 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 oh. So after all the warnings, eh? And you still went and continue with this. When the Maguro near Bugo or when? And let me tell you something. I can see how stubborn you are. But I will tell you what we'll do to stubborn fools like you. Come. One push to be a, one push to be a. I said, give me up. I said, you come. Go into that. See this bitch. Get me cane. Say, I said, I'm not. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Since you are not able to control your subjects, your subjects will control you now. You don't know. Eh? Huh? Who wants to join? Ah, no, 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 Six strokes each. I want to get it. I want to get it. I want to What even brought me to that meeting? I'm going now. I'm going back. I cannot come back here myself. My love, you're not looking cheerful. Why do you want us to postpone our engagement? When you know my father wants to present me as the heir, he's really worried about the delay. I know he's worried, but I think I need a little time to inform my father about your intention to get married to me. Oh, God. What is bothering you? What is taking the beautiful smile on your face when you know your face? And just smile. Makes my day. I'm fine. I just have some personal issues I'm dealing with, but I'll be okay. Okay. Do you know what? Let's go to a quiet place where we can talk. Okay. Um, you just have to put a smile on your face, please. Let me get my bag. Okay. I'm waiting. <sighs> What has gone into the boat of you? I personally handed that portion of land over to Richard. Since you both did not want to do anything with it, he intends to build a school for the disabled there. Eh? But is you know the same portion of land that I requested to use and build a hotel just because it's very close to the junction and that you blatantly refused? And now you want to hand it over to a total stranger? Just for a, a, a damn profitable venture! Will you keep quiet? Come on, Dad, what a waste! Shut up! Do not repeat such word before me next time. Oh. Daddy, do you know what pains me most? Because, unfortunately, you don't know this, you, this your so-called son. You don't know him. This boy is a god digger. This guy is just a total pretender. This guy, oh. I can't think. I'm following all of these insults. Simply because of you. Not like I don't know what to do to them. They should stay on their lane. Because the next time they cross my path, they will not know what hit them. One demo! One demo! It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I promise you they will not repeat this next time. Better. Daddy, we do respect. Please, don't make promises you can't keep. Don't! Will you shut up? 
why should you speak while I'm speaking? How dare you? Listen, Richard is my son. So as both of you. You ought to respect him. He's your senior brother. Let me not get that kind of report again about you. I hope they listen to you, Father. And as for the both of you, I am not an easy bone to chew. I got it. Oh my God, yeah. Both of you should leave my sight. I said leave my sight. So I've been thinking. So many threats have been made to my life. I'm beginning to think about giving up on this royal household. Why am I crazy from the last? Do you know you're the first son of King Harrison? The heir to the throne of Ifite? You cannot let go of what is rightfully yours. I never wanted to be a traditional ruler. All I want to do is to serve my people in politics. That's it. You see, my prince, same spirit of leadership. It is better to be a traditional ruler than to be a political leader. You can rule and hand over to your children, children. Moreover, the king of Ifite is well respected in these states. He can endorse anyone who wants to be the governor of these states. Well, Richard, I, I think you beef up your security. For, for security reasons, anyway. Yes, um, you have a point there. I too have been thinking along that line. Well, the short time I've been with you, I, I know you have a very large heart. I mean, no doubt you'll make a good king someday. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. You're welcome. M meanwhile, um, work continues at the site. My father has given his approval and um, the boys won't disturb anymore. So, what can I offer you? Um, Don't worry, I have one. Will be good. <laughs> Richard, Richard. Greetings, Your Highness. Let those greetings dry up in your mouth. What is good about this morning? Eh? Don't ever greet me again. And you should stay away from my family. What a mother? Who I... is your mother? Do I look like a slave to you? Please. Stay away from us for once. What is your problem? For your information. I want you to stay away completely from this palace. Do I make myself clear? Stupid. Nonsense. Why do they hate me this much? Why? Somebody tell me. I will not listen to you. Mama, I need to go and confront those idiots. A confrontation will put them in check. Why would they harass my husband that way? And treat him as if he's an outcast? Vivian, this is not your fight. It's not your fight. Eh? Instead, allow him to shoulder his responsibility. He is equal to the task. Mama, I am Mrs. Vivian Richard Okeke. I'm his wife and his, and his helpmate. I know. Mama, they need to get that into their dumb score. Why would they treat him as one pushover? It's okay. Don't worry. Okay? Just don't worry yourself. Richard is equal to the task. He will treat the matter himself. Hmm? Okay. I will listen to you. 
I will listen to you. But do not say I didn't want you to consign this matter. Don't worry. They, 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 they need to know that he has a wife. Go, 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 this nonsense. By the way, where did Richard go? I, I, I don't even know. Okay, let's go inside. Come, 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 my Mama, we should go inside. Come, let's go, let's go. We inside. should go inside. Yes. I don't want you to go out, please. Why are you panicking? Why are you panicking over this? Your brothers will find a common ground to reconcile one day. See, I want you to go ahead and settle with Prince Chibi. He has been waiting for so many years for you. Joy, you don't understand. It's like you don't know what is going on. There is tension in the palace right now. The temple is high. My mother, my brothers, I don't know what to do. Have you made up your mind to get married to my brother? I'm still consulting. Don't worry, I will give you my answers. You are still consulting? Joan, this is serious now. Mm. Look, I know right now you are not in any relationship. That is why I want to get married to my brother. And I promise you, very soon, you'll hear from me. I promise. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Cheer up now. <laughs> Tell me, how do you cope with this hectic flight schedules? My day has not been easy, but I give God all the glory. Mm, of course. I just do. thank God for safe flights all the time, though. But that's not my problem now. My problem is my brothers. Don't worry, everything will be okay with them. I am here because you are noble and the most respected amongst the council of chiefs in Ifite Kingdom. I cannot sit by and watch a total stranger take what is rightfully my son's right. Banon. Your own son, the true son of Ifite Kingdom. Your Highness, I am a custodian of our culture and tradition. I have heard all you have said. The man in question is supposed to be the first son of the king. And by right, he's supposed to take over from him when he is no more. The question is, how are you sure that this man called Richard is truly the king's son after all these years? <laughs> but your highness, the king himself confirmed it. Whatever the case may be, I, I, I need you to help me. I don't know what to do at this minute. Eh? I am so confused. I can't just sit and watch somebody come in from nowhere and take what belongs to my children. Mbana. Please. I, I, I'm confused. Your Highness, Prince Serenze must position himself to take what belongs to him. First, he'll get himself a wife. So people will believe him. No man is crowned a prince, according to our tradition, without taking a wife. Mother, you sounded so urgent on the phone. What's the problem? Hope all is well. How can all be well? Can't you see what is happening in the palace? Mother, you're getting me all confused. Your brother is at the verge of losing the throne to a total stranger. We can't sit and watch that happen. <sighs> What about Joanne? Did she accept a proposal? She's pleading for more time to make up her mind. But mother, is there nothing you can do to stop all this from happening? Marriage is the only way. Um, what about those your friends during your university days? I mean, Love It and Ugoma, yes. I, I want you to invite them over. For what? We already spoke to Joanne. We can't put all our eggs in one basket. 
Your brother has to take a wife to prove to your father that he's ready to be king. Mother, I advise you allow Arinze choose wife for himself. What makes you think you will like my friend anyways? My daughter, we have gone beyond what your brothers would like. We have to help them. As for your brothers, don't worry, I can take care of them. Mother, I'll see what I can do. But I am not promising anything yet. Just do something. You know, say every story has a teller. Every teller has a oh. My princess. My lovely friends. You've really changed though. Serious. The last time I asked after you, I was told you traveled to America on a vacation. My love, I actually did. But I returned a few months back. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I didn't even bother to check after your friend. I'm sorry now. <laughs> okay, I'm here now. Babes. See, I have this lovely gist I would love to share with the both of you. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Very juicy. Hmm. <laughs> Bring it on, girl. I can't wait to hear this royal gist. I will, definitely. But it's, it's highly confidential. I'll have to whisper it to your ears. You oh. know, the walls have ears. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my dear. I need to shop for some new clothes. I'm already seeing myself as the future queen of Ifite land. <laughs> See, I can't wait till tomorrow. I told you one day I would like to shine. Yes, so my sister, you said that. <laughs> Thank God for a friend like Princess Isabel. That girl is a friend indeed. Yeah, even when I was in school, she paid my fees twice when my dad couldn't afford it. Oh. If not for her, I would be a dropout. Ha! <laughs> my dear, have you forgotten how I moved into her apartment when I could no longer afford to pay my rent? She practically allowed me to move in with her. Huh. Right now, she's placing us in the royal family on a platter of gold. <laughs> you see me, I will do everything possible never to let this golden opportunity pass me by. <laughs> me too, my dear. <laughs> I can't wait to see our husbands. So these are my brothers I've been telling you guys about. They are caring and they are also cute, ain't they? Yeah, yeah. Mm. you don't need to tell me that the cuteness runs in the blood. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> you already know my mom. Yeah, of course. Uh, so I believe they will never joke with other girls, oh. especially you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> my princess, oh. you just know how to say the right words. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's no here. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, my prince. Uh, please, can you introduce yourselves? <laughs> my prince. I am Goma. I graduated from UNN. Oh, good. What about you? Uh, I'm Lovett. I'm, I'm a graduate of UNN too. Oh, that's Studied nice. law. Interesting. So, please, can you make yourselves comfortable? Okay. Um. Okay. Just give you a refreshment. It's nice of you. We're nice now, family. Oh. It runs to the blow, like I said. <laughs> Well, um, let me leave you all to enjoy yourselves while I go into the kitchen. Thank you, Your Highness. Yeah, okay. Please let me help you in the kitchen. Me too, Ma. Wow. This is thoughtful of you. Like I said, enjoy yourself. Hmm? The chef can handle it. All right, Ma. See you soon inside. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> we are nice now, family. <laughs> Thank 
Okay, let me allow you guys have fun. Okay, my princess. Excuse me. You're quite excused. Baby. Hi, bro. So, um, uh, do you live in this community? Uh, I stay in town, my prince. Oh, fantastic. What about you? I stay in town too. So, so you studied UNN, eh? Yeah, I graduated from UNN and I studied law as well. Ah. Are you both practicing? Yes, I'm yeah, practicing. Yeah. Okay. That's the first thing. It's working. I told you it would work. I think go do. Because the throne is at stake. Uh -uh. I really pray it will work. Don't you trust me again? I do. Look, they are getting along so well. It will work, Mom. They are really getting along. Yes. I think he likes her. Yeah. They like themselves. I told you it will work. I never doubted my instincts. I never doubted you too either, Mom. Look, I trust my friends. Besides, I did a whole lot of work on them. I also told them to come with something enticing to entice my brothers. I have plans for tonight. You? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, let me go to the kitchen and see what the chef are doing. All right. Yeah. This life, boy, every day, every night. This life, boy, every day, every night. Not to what you're getting, always come here. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm just admiring the pool. Just oh, <laughs> yeah, this pool is so nice. I've been admiring it too. I just can't wait to go in there and, you know, freshen up. <laughs> All this water is so beautiful. I could just jump in right now, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I just feel like jumping in there and, uh, you know. You know, we can't do anything. We are not going to have some suits. So just here. That's just the thing. Yeah. Hope you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Where are my brothers? Where did they go to? Uh, I don't really know. We're they just, just out here chatting and having fun. And they just left all of a sudden. Just like that? Just like that, my princess. They just left without a word. I think they had a call or something. Yeah, I guess so. You know what? I think they should be in their rooms. But the most important thing is, I am here for you girls now. Um, well, I just hope this works out. Like, I'm so in love with your brother. He's so handsome, so gentle. I just can't wait to be his wife. Ah, girl, chill. <laughs> you know, we all can't wait to be their wives. <laughs> trust me soonest you girls will be mm. everything will be fine okay oh, don't you trust me again i trust yeah. you oh. i hope you girls came with something sexy because mm -hmm. I, I want you girls to look very sexy for my brother did you guys come with any sure yeah, we did. can nice. count on us <laughs> you're sure yeah. yeah okay let's go get you refreshed ah. okay <laughs> refreshed right. ah, i like the sound of that I just wanted to show you how much I love you. Look at this idiot. What has love got to do with you in my room and on my royal bed? Enough for that! I'm sorry. Why don't you get your first name out of this, this room before I do something stupid? 
I'm sorry, my friend. I didn't mean to come here. It was your mom's idea. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. I can see where all these are coming from. Mm. Now get out. Just leave this room before I open my eyes. Immediately. Get out! Come on, get out of my room. Come on, you know, Cecily. Love all by force. What is it? See, I don't think I can do this anymore. I can't stand the level of humiliation I receive in this place. I'm living here right now. My dear, even me, I'm so tired. Honestly, I know I need a man, but I'm not desperate for one. I'm going in there to tell the princess that I'm leaving this minute. What is all this? Please do, please do. <sighs> Tango none of this palace mess 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 the two princes of this kingdom are terrorizing us, claiming that they are the two rightful sons of the king, and that we have no right to support the choice of the king, making his returning son, Richard, heir to the throne of this kingdom. Did I hear you say terrorize? How can we sit down and watch a stranger to become our king in this kingdom. Wow. Richard, or whatever they call him, is not going to be our king. The king cannot impose him on us. Mechion, asking you, Mechion, how can you utter such rubbish against the king and against the throne of this land? Hmm? I can see that the two princes have stuffed your mouth with the money. Ask when he had a chatalanagigite, Nananagogono. Obroyan. 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 My fellow Umwadas, as you can see, this matter is a very delicate one, though, and we must be very careful on how we handle it. I've said my own. Umadibem, I no mabu na aja adelia. We have to be careful, oh. You are in a mess. I forgot my boy. Aja adelia. There is nothing to be careful about in this issue. The truth is very open. Richard is our choice. The king's choice. And he is not our choice. Madame Nonodu, sit down. You sit down. Sit down. Stand up. <laughs> so what will happen tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow people should come. Because I've already arranged with the two prince for your first meeting. Tomorrow. Okay. Remember, we are something delicious. Eh? You, we are gang. You, we are something like throws or, or bone shot. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Uh -huh. It's okay. Bye bye. Uh -huh. bye, -bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Please come. All fine. Yes, go and bring that uh, go and meet that woman Mama, and collect that money. I know now the woman will, will soon go out. Go and collect his job. Mama. I'm coming. Okay. And then name. Um, he's serious. My mother is back. <laughs> This bag is fine. Thank you. Adama. Mama. Hey. Adamo. Adamo. Hey. How are you? Hey. How are you? I'm fine. Hey. Welcome. I like this your hair. Thank hey. you. You dash me. Mama, I'm very hungry. Uh -uh. Oh, There's food now. Nah. There's food in the house. Mama made open salad. Hey. 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 You found hey. the Amabi. Yes, no. <laughs> Go inside. <laughs> hey. Mama. Why exactly do you ask me to come back home? 
knowing fully well we have activities going on in school. Uh, you know that since your father died, this has not been easy for us at all. I hope you know that. I do, Mama, I do. Uh, you know that when you marry a wealthy man, things will be easy for us. Mama, in a mecca. Shut up. Yeah? You know? Is that why you asked us to come back home? Only I go talk. Square up, po. Listen, Ada. You know that the two princes, Arize and Emeka, is looking for suitable wife to marry. Going by the way I trained you, I know you can make a good wife. Mama, I don't understand you. Mama, what are you saying I should do? You will go and visit the two princes, Arize and the American. Why, Mama? <laughs> hey. Oh, the quake, Mama, are you encouraging her to start following men? Mm -hmm. I don't understand it all. Shut up! Only me, I go talk. Mama, be calling me alone. Mama, leave me alone. Look at you. Okay. Adama. Adama. Mama, I'm scared. Is this okay? It's okay now. Uh -uh. Beautiful, beautiful begin. Hey! One car, my son. Hey! Yes, if you reach there, make sure you greet. Wait. When you go there, walk like a bed. Don't talk too much. Smile. Like uh... Hey! Huh? Don't you like. Hey, you see, Bombo. Stop. If you reach there, you know, understand now. Mama, so that, oh. Mama, I have a friend in school. Da! Which friend? Ojego. Don't let me curse you. Go there and make sure one of them chooses you. Uh uh. Ego vi ne mwa. Hi. Go. I'm on the Hi. Hi. Mama. Mama, hear me to come. What is that? I me won't you shouldn't no locker. I thought you were a leader in CWO. Why are you behaving like this? Mama Chere, I have a question for you. Are you saying that Danny should just go and meet a man she knows nothing about? Uh. A man she has never had any encounter with. Uh. And then the man will just make her his queen just like that. Uh. 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 When you now? 14 years. This is when I marry your father. As your grandmother is. Is it not true? Grandmother. Hey! Mama. Mama, you need to watch this thing. It's getting out of hand. Watch you it. You need to watch it. Mama. Stupid girl. <laughs> this thing is getting out of hand. I don't really know what is wrong with Isabella. She seems to be giving more attention to her brother's problem. To even think about our futures together. Listen, Prince Chidi. I have told you to have a little patience. I promise I'm going to talk to Isabella. I know what the problem is. You better do. Because there is no day that passes without me arguing with my father over me choosing a date for our traditional marriage. I apologize on behalf of my friend. I promise I will talk to her. And I know she's going to get back to you as soon as possible. You think so? Thank you so much for your time. I, I'm really sorry for inconveniencing you. It's okay. I'm happy to assist. Just relax. 
okay hey I don't know it's not yet bad let it not ah, what is wrong <laughs> mama this is just the beginning hmm? you've not seen anything I wish they would just impregnate her and bundle her back to you. My call it your bride. Mama, Mama, can you imagine? Imagine what? Mila, I got introduced to the prince. They just walked out on me. Hey! Mama, they didn't even talk to me, not even a glance. <laughs> Why is this one laughing? <laughs> my family gets inside. Because Allow me to laugh. Oh my god, I make. They did not choose you. They didn't pick me. They didn't even talk to me. Hey! <laughs> I don't even talk. Hey, what happened? You didn't walk like a bed. Mila, <laughs> eh? <laughs> they didn't call you. Mama, see, I'm going back to school today, today. Ah, uh -uh, I just wasted my transport for nothing. Don't call me for this kind of thing again, no. Hey! <laughs> I will just slap you. I'm not your majesty. I'm not your majesty. It's not good. Okay, it's not good. Mama, I'm not your majesty. I'm not your majesty. Mama, I'm not your majesty. Hey, because I'm... Hey, I'm not your majesty. Mm -hmm. Babe, are you really telling me the truth? How could you allow yourself to be roped into such an arrangement? How am I supposed to know this won't work out? It was our friend, the princess, that begged for it. Babe, no man is worth the experience you just told me. Treating you like a trash. Please, let's talk about something else. Okay, fine. Palace or un un uninvited. Ha! Tobias, he isn't killing the water. We need the one that asks us to come to the for you to arrange the prince for us. Who? Wait, you, you just stormed the palace. Oh, like, you can't you can even call me and, and, and know if the prince is around or, or my uh, travel. Well, you're the one that assured us that we are going to see them. Oh, you make assurance. Eh? It will try to make assurance. Eh? Are you okay? Okay, even if I, 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 I show you, so you have to come, come to the palace dressed dress like this. Don't you know that here, here is his palace? But what is wrong with our mode of dressing? You asked us to dress decent. Is this your own true definition of uh, uh, decent? Huh? Don't you know there is difference between decent and, and, and responsible and, and, and indecent? Uh, uh, touched. Don't you know? Then you came, you came to the palace looking like this. Tobias, if you know how I press this clothes, eh? Which person? The, uh, see, the, the prince, they don't like girls that used to press their clothes. If you want to get their heart, come with unpressed clothes. See, you, you both have to leave now. Uh, go, go and dress so that I will replan with the prince and know where your uh, remitting will be. Uh, huh? No. What's wrong again? No. Uh, see, go, come on. Come and go, yeah? Just go, I will, I will, I will see you people. To... Oh no, sit down! No, uh-uh. Come on, no, guy. Come on, go, 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 let me lock up. Huh? Just go, 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 budge me into the palace. This is the kind of thing that they used to sack somebody, somebody with. Just you come to the palace because they told you they will arrange the meeting with the prince. What do we do? Mother, I don't know. I'm still very confused. Obi, what is the meaning of that drama? My son, I want you to settle down. I want you to get a wife. 
You must tell your father that you're a man and serious to take over the throne. Mommy, I'm a man and I should know what is good for me. Mommy, allow me to make my choice. Just allow me to take my wife when the time comes. Do you want another person to take what belongs to you? I know you wouldn't want that. I've told you time with that numbers that I don't want to get married anytime soon. And I'm not going to be the next king because I don't want to see all those cheap looking local girls around me. No way. Before I get water on the Obanji, Biko, allow me and I'll make my choice. Right now, it is by force. You must get a wife for yourself. You should be proud of me, mommy. You should. There are so many women out there. But wife, that'd be difficult. Oh, who is disturbing my sleep? Eh? Thunder, are you ready? Come in. Uh... Return. Yes, we're here. Take a look at us. How do we look? I hope we look good. <laughs> oh, not a good corner guard. You are good. Good. I'm not going to be able to get a uh, but there is a small problem. Hey, problem? What is the problem? Um, the, the two prince, they are not around today. They travel. They travel this morning. Travel? Uh, they talk. But you never told us they will travel. And they don't used to announce their traveling. Yeah. So, uh, actually, this is a village, a uh, uh, village, that the prince wants to travel. Huh? Are you sure? Are you, are you sure of what you're saying? Because I don't trust you. Yes, I don't trust you too. My mind tells me that you are lying. Ah, John Madake, the, the heart of a man uh, thinketh evil. So I'm not surprised. Somebody like you, Pasele, Chef the Hojo, steady. See, the, where you, you have to go when you come back. When they come back, then you come again. But trust me, the, the prince will accept you this way. Uh, see, it's even for your own good, though. For your own good. They are traveling it's because of the wedding shopping. Uh, the shopping wedding. For the wedding. I got a plan again. Are you sure? Don't mind her. You that believe the miracle. See, they travel to shop for you people's wedding. What is your uh, ring uh, size? Um, size five. Five? Yes, five. Oh, quite bad luck. Because I've uh, heard them saying that what they plan for this wedding is size 10 and ring. Yeah, my own is nine. Nine, oh, yeah, album. So, ten, ah, okay, give Hey, it's okay. Please, we can sh shape your own. Oh, okay, give me some more. Eee, we might even marry him with that ring. It's okay. Just, just go. Size? Nine. Nine. Oh, yeah, but of course, ever. And you just, just go. When they come back, I will, I will inform them. Then you come back. You know what? So, when will they come back? Just go. When they come back, everybody will know that they're back. Oh. 
and I was I nine and I rang you. Or up, I get it and kill the fans. On the Mabuki. This is what I rang you, what I can have. Allergy, no, see, allergy, buy from our products. If you buy our products, allergy, you, you of course, you will get the best. Allergy, I'm, I'm serious. See, allergy, okay, we'll give you 420 million. Yes. Come, my sister. Yes, allergy. Hey, allergy, you, you can pay 420 million, no problem. We'll supply you all our products. We have the best. Yes, we have the best. Our brothers are unbeatable. Alaji, you know. No. Hey, Alaji, let me call you back. Eh? I'll, let me call you back. All right. Bro. Bella, Bella. What do you have for me? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. No, just sit. Oh, you want to sit here? Come, you can sit. Just sit down. Okay. Shush. 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 I can see you. How did you see her? Mm -hmm. She's my childhood friend. Oh, really? Her name is Joan. Is she from this village? Yes. My father used to be a school principal before he passed on. Oh, it's a pity. I, 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 I like, I like her courage. You know, uh, I, I like the way she carries herself and her beauty. Yeah, you know. Uh, I would like to see her again. Really? Oh yes. Consider it done. I will do anything for my bro. I will do anything That's for you. I will do the anything for you. Girl, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, but okay. let me let me just rush in you and you know I can I can I can I can dance. For I you. know. <laughs> when I do it, forget about my place. <laughs> I do it. I rock it. <laughs> bro, bro. No, no, no. Just, Don't worry. I'll get her for you. Trust me. I will, I will keep something for you. I know. I trust, trust you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me just rush and do something. Uh, no problem. All okay. right. Hey, shh. Oh, wait, wait. Come, come. Yeah, let's go. Come here. My elders are greeting. Igwe! My lord. Today is a very great day in the entire Ifite kingdom. A day of joy. It is a day of fulfillment. My son here, Prince Arinze, has finally decided to be a man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yes. I bless you, my son, you and your wife. Every blessing that comes with marriage shall be with you. And that includes the fact that your wife shall be rich in fruits of the womb. And that includes the fact that you will love her and she will love you. And that includes the fact that Happiness and peace shall be your portion. You shall be a blessing to her. And she will be a blessing to you. And so shall it be. The future of our kingdom. Adoma, oh, a 
Mali Chawwa. Mabando Toto. Sino le kona meno de wo di wedike. O se kwa ni kala kwa lu buru no parizo na mamu bemo. Ino le bani kala kwa lu no bo ku nuku mamu na kene gadi ke si mo kwa bemo ja mandi de ku arizo na ina nuku lu me. Sino ka arizo no de ku ni pata la so de ku maka na bala ni mana ku di ni ru. Abala ni mana ku di ni ru. Kena sepete wanyi ma pugo wanyi ma chalugo wanyi na chaluge jejem bende mulu. Olwe kona meni mumu bende ma kwaba kwamba mu. Asa di orama. Asa na me kene ge kena nu. Siri benji na kene gine nu wabu gono gondo hisi ge iba kwa kiwe we we we. Otoko ge me gine nu wabu daje kwa muni apulu kwa cheki shaba jiri kwe jiri. Si na ne muzu kwa dika biya magenu nu mu nu ga mu ba mu manu nu ga di kechi maga. Ne cha na koroni we, olwe ko ne mani mamu bemu, ti kwa kwa zia ni se. I don't have time to talk to you. All I need is my money right now. Bring it. Which money are you people talking about? Tobias, all the money we've been giving you to arrange the two princes for us. We need that money right now, this minute. If I have rated him, Konobia, you can't just stop a man. You may expect Kobo Bego. Oh, the yeah, maybe, maybe. Nothing I've spoiled. Eh? Listen to me. All this money, I use it in arranging the prince, so. Uh -huh. eh? It was in their mind before they changed their mind uh, that they, they don't want you people again. No? When their mind was still with them, they want you people, they want you girls. But when their mind left them, has seen her choices. So, it's not my fault. And all the money you have been given to me. Oh, my God, King. Thank you, Baba. No, no. Why you get those prince Makunua? So that their hearts will be melodious for you people. Okay. It's again, it did not work out. No. You've been using money our money back. to arrange prince as as on yeah, as who? As the their personal arrange uh, personal take take care take care of. See, that one is, is not an issue. Just realize they will still have their mind where you people are. You know go? You don't please I need my money, please. <laughs> I need my money. Oh, your future. Yes. How much am I owing you? You owe me 10,000 era. Uh, but you do not give me the money once you know. Ha, uh -huh. uh -huh. So go to see him, Diego. Go to see him here. Uh, the first day I gave you um, 5,000. Uh -huh. The second day, 3,000. The last day, I gave you 10,000. The other day. Imagine hine who? Imagine hine who? I'm not 10,000, but if you're not sure of the way you gave to me, I'm not sure of the way I'm going to give it to you. Uh, what I gave you is 20,000. And I did not just give you. I paid everything together, not by installments. Hey! You gave me 20,000. Yes. Jesus! Hey! 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 What if it is my destiny? My lucky love, by fire, by flesh, I must rule up. What if it is my destiny? My lucky love, by fire, by flesh, I must rule up. Your Highness, have mercy, please. It will not happen again, please, have mercy. So you know your sins? No, Your Highness. Then why ask you for forgiveness? Father, or whatever your name is, now listen attentively. Tell your friend to stay away from our family. If not, we will deal with him. Have I made myself?
Yes, Your Highness. One. Thank you, Your Highness. Go see the girl. Go see the girl. Just go see the you mean they did all this to you? David promised to kill me. Richard, they said if you love your life, you should stay away from the real home. No way. They can't scare me. I am not scared of them. Do they know what it took me to finally find out my roots and they want me to just blow it all away like that? No way! From what I saw, Prince Ari and Emeka are so desperate, they can go any length. I don't care whatever length they want to go. All I know is that they cannot scare me. I mean, that's my father's house. They cannot scare me away from there. If they want war, I will give them war. In whatever way they want it, I will give it to them in ten foot. But as for me leaving my father's house or inheritance, no way. I am ready for this. That's what it means. War. They should bring it up. I'm equal to the task. <laughs> You're welcome. You see, today is the day I've been waiting for all my life. Your king is getting old. And as the days roll by, my health fails me. Our people have a saying that a wise man does not brood over what he does not have. Rather, he rejoices over the things he has. I thank my ancestors. I thank them because they have blessed me richly with children, wealth, and in fact, the whole kingdom of Ifite. And I'm very happy. Richard, my son, come home. I thank the gods of my ancestors for bringing home my son, my first son. I want to make a declaration today that will guide the entire Ifite kingdom when I must have joined my ancestors. My first son, Richard, will succeed me on this throne as the culture and tradition of our kingdom says. While my two other sons will take charge of my business empire, though I'm still alive, it had to be when I must have joined my ancestors. My son, kneel down. Oh no, you do the right thing. <laughs> Yeah. If it's a pen. Yeah. 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 Moon. Yeah. 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 The great day has come. Yeah. What an idea to negotiate. Ne joku emegeni abakuzo. My son Richard. No. Congratulations. Congratulations. The gods have favored you. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> right. I want some Ghani. Ghani. <laughs> that is it. That is it. Bring your hand. Bring your right hand. <clears throat> the gods have chosen you. Leia. Papa Liti. You say you can. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. My grace. By the powers vested on me as a traditional prime minister of this great kingdom, if you did, I declare you Crown Prince of the Kingdom. <laughs> Crown Prince! Crown Prince! Crown Prince! Crown Prince! Crown Prince! Crown Prince. Crown Prince. Crown Prince. Crown Prince. Crown Prince. Crown Prince. 
Hey, I see. I can see you're ready for war, right? That is because that seems to be the only language both of you understand. Victorious warriors win first before they go to war. White defeated warriors go to war before they seek to win. I can see you now move around with this armed man. Such a desperate god digger. And this war will destroy you. Most times we don't know our strength. Until we are pushed to unleash our hidden powers. <laughs> so you think you can succeed my father as the king of this this great kingdom? Oh, I say. It will work, I say. You don't dare it. It will not see. It will not see. And me make your name I no fear. Both of you can go to hell. You won't do anything. And what is going on? What is going on? Arisen. Emeka, what is all this? Ask him, father. Richard, my son. What is wrong? Father. Yes. Father, both of them have plans to kill me. What? Yes. My car was attacked today and my driver shot. Shot to death. Murdered in cold blood. I'm only being lenient not because I do not know what to do, but because I'm a man of peace. But when pushed to the wall, I can be more dangerous than a viper. This is my father's house and nobody can intimidate me. Oh, I see. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. There can only be one camp prince of Ifite, and that is Arizona. Who are you? Do you do you the fool? Eh? Rubbish. A product of one night stand. What? Otule. You're not here the king and you're burning yourself with armed men. Can you know? Keep quiet. Shut up. I am still the king of Ifite. I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Tell him, father! Will you shut up? It's like you both have started biting more than you can chew. And it's high time I kept you in check. What's your problem? Calm down, Richard. Calm down. But I'm only being lenient because of you, and you know that. Calm down. Not like I don't know what to do to this I thing. said calm down. I'm in control. Calm down. Come on. Come on. Get inside. Otule. Stop there. This is life. The life we are living. The more you love. 
the less you see, the less you understand. Do you really want to know? Nay, what is the problem? You have been like this since you came back from the council meeting. What is it? My dear, I go on Akirika. I go on Akirika. I wonder what this kingdom will be in the next coming year. How do you mean? Do you know that Prince Arinze and Prince Emeka have declared total war against the first son of the king, Richard? There's war over their dead body, never to allow Richard to be part of the royal family. Nah, this is serious. Oh. This is really serious. So what is the king doing about it? My dear, the king has taken his stand with Richard. But I'm afraid these two rascals can do anything to get what they want. Nah, it's only God that will save us in this kingdom. Yes, hmm? that's what I can see. You have cash, it's wonderful. But when that is not enough, you start again, you start again, dangerous game, because the mound is dear, you never know how it's gonna end, this is dangerous game, dangerous game, oh, how it's going to end. I said, Come on, what you got now? I'll break this on If you want to leave, then you must denounce Richard. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Denounce yes, Richard. Sir. We only have one crown prince in this kingdom, which is Arize, Arizona, my boss. Hmm? Did you hear me? Arizona, my boss. Are you still supporting Richard? No, no, sir. What about you? No. Will you denounce Richard? Will you denounce Richard? I said, will you denounce Richard? I will denounce who is this Richard? To understand what you're saying. I will denounce him. <laughs> Richard <laughs> Now say Prince Arizona. How can you people want us to support a total stranger? A person whose uh, identity is uh, questionable. Number one, he's not a son of the soil, and he can never be part of the royal family. Mazago, mind your tongue. Are you now calling our king who says that Richard is his son? A liar? It's your worker. Ask him all. Just because of the little money you gained from the two princes, you have chosen to ignore the truth. Which truth? How do we know that the king is not making a, a, a story up for that uh, the love she has for that, uh, that uh, strange woman? Watch your mouth, Ago, before you say something that's against the gods of this land. Because of the land indeed. Yeah. Watch your mouth. Okay. Keep it with you. I'm going. Yeah, yeah, Alright, go. Can go. Can go. Can go. Go. Better go. Hey. Huh? Imagine. How can you people want us to support a total stranger? A person whose uh, identity is uh, questionable. Number one, he's not a son of the soil. And he can never be part of the royal family. Mazago. Mind your tongue. Are you now calling our king who says that Richard is his son? A liar? It's your worker. Ask him all. Just because of the little money you're gaining from the two princes, 
you have chosen to ignore the truth. Which truth? How do we know that the king is not making a, a, a story up for that uh, the love she has for that, uh, that uh, strange woman? Watch your mouth, Ago, before you say something that's against the gods of this land. Gods of the land indeed. Yeah. Watch your mouth. Okay. Keep it with you, I'm going. Yeah, all right, can go, can go, can go. Can go. Can go. go. You better go. Uh, imagine. Idiots for that matter. Look at the local local fools. Rubbish. I can never be part of you in any deliberation. I can never be part of you. All I know is money. That's all. What is even wrong with you? I don't know. I get him, but he didn't even respond. I don't even know. But one thing I know for certain is that this man is part of the evil that is happening in this land. What do you mean? He collects money from Prince they make an appraisal, supporting them against their father's wish. This is really serious. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Don't tell me what him in a while. Don't mind him. Don't mind him. Please. What do you want from us? One step. Hey, please. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want from us? Please. Uh, uh, this chief yourself. This yeah, chief yourself. Please. I say this chief yourself. Please, what from us? So you are still supporting Richard, eh? No, no, no. Eh? No. One more thing now. Don't support. Richard or no Richard? The link or Richard? Richard, Richard. Is it? Eh? Is it? No, no, no. Oh, I say Prince Arizona. Prince Arizona. Again. Prince Arizona. Again. Prince Arizona. The Andega. You are not a man to love us. My woman, I got a cool and wet on feature. In my world, destiny must come to play. I could fetch a dollar. And I was a one day. Welcome, madam. Oh, thank you. Are you here on appointment? I want to see your majesty the queen. What is your name? My name is Vivian Okeke. Okay, this way. Thank you. What if it is my destiny? I don't care. By fire, by force, I must rule up. What is it? Good day. You may sit. Thank you. You asked to see me. I hope there's no problem. Your Majesty. It has become important that I come see you consigning this fight. This unnecessary war between your sons and my husband. My husband, Richard Okeke, is not interested in the throne. Why can't they understand this? Oh, I see. Richard's wife. You say your husband is not interested in the throne? Yes, Your Majesty. Why then did he accept to be crowned the Prince of Ifite? That automatically makes him heir to the throne. No, Your Majesty. My husband only wants to connect to his roots. My husband is only a politician. Exactly. He's playing the game he knows best. Politics. He would have made his position known to everyone. 
and save us this long ceremony of such waste. Your Majesty, that is not true. My husband never wants the throne. No. I don't know why your sons are trying so hard to make him uncomfortable. You come to my house to tell me how to run my family? Don't you have respect for royalty? Your Majesty, please, I beg of you, do not misunderstand me. I have not come to make trouble with you. Then why have you come? If not to make trouble. Here comes my son, Prince Arinze, the Prince of Ifite Kingdom. Okay, Mwa. What's going on here? No, no, no. Hmm? What happened? What's happening? We heard your voices. This is Richard's wife. She has come to tell you people to desist from making troubles with her husband. Don't understand. Tell everybody. It's not your call. Is that what gave you the affronty to walk into my father's palace? To come here and warn me? My father, will you stand up? Don't you know where you are? Just say what you stand up, get up, and disappear from here now. Can you stand up and leave here now? I will leave. But I am not intimidated by your actions. Really? Excuse me. When you Richard. Richard. Come on, more. The girl for this, 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 that, that scallywag. I'm a problem. I'm not going to enter their home. Open up my door. I can't leave with that. Where is that idiot that will not allow the peace of this palace to rest? No, 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 he will know that it's not a good blower. Eh, uh, eh, uh, eh, uh, eh, uh, eh, uh, 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 just, just hold on. My Oja is in the container coming back. Oja, I won't work with four bastards, Oja. That's why you are busy hearing. By the time my own comes back, my own is all this modern, he put you off my, if you can blow it away, it will be singing on its own. That's your way, let her wait. Tobias, what is it again? Why are you disturbing the peace of this palace? I am telling you, by the time I start blowing Oja in this, the king will not have any other option. Or nobody in this palace will have any other option than to send that idiot away. I will be at the gate blowing Oja for everybody. What rubbish is that? Eh, uh, uh, Tobias, I heard the flute was given to you the other day and you couldn't use it. So why then are you stopping us? It was not given to me. I took it on myself, by myself, with myself. See, let me tell you. Why I couldn't blow that Oja is because uh, Oja or oh, direct bedroom. Eh, uh, it's direct bedroom. See, my own order is direct from abroad. The way it's, it's even rechargeable. If you give you your gap, it will charge again and start to blow. Don't worry, I will get my own order. You see what I will do with it. Okay, okay say that, Paul. You like ranting. Say that, Paul. Don't worry, my dear. Just go go back to your duty post. Let my order come back. The life we are living. The more you lose. So cute. The less you see, the less you understand. Do you really want to know? Just wait, let me pick some items. It's not a problem, that's okay. You and money is beautiful, you have cash, it's wonderful. But when that is not enough, you start again, you start again, dangerous game because the money is there, you never know how it's gonna end. 
You and money is beautiful. You have cash, it's wonderful. But when that is not enough, you start to game. If you make pump, this will be your last time. No, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cat smile, baby. Smile. Smile. Keep smiling. I know you mean that. Excuse me. Welcome, sir. Sorry, I'm looking for a woman. A woman? How does she look like? She's fair in complexion, average height. She's wearing flowered shirt. Um, I think she left a while ago. Yes, I'm sure she left a while ago. So. that you release me out of this place immediately. What? You're commanding me. You have the authority to command me. You still have not to talk to me or talk to any of us. You think you can command us anyhow? Hey? You think this place is your husband's uh, your husband's house? Where you talk anyhow and, and command? If you try that thing, you try that thing. Um, Pour your acid on that cake, kill you right away. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> that can only happen when you cooperate with us. Then you can get your freedom. Okay? Eh? <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. No, 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 no. and the maker are taking things too far. I won't take things lightly with them again, no. They have kidnapped my wife and they are making unnecessary demands. They shouldn't push me to the wall, father. Talk to them, oh. I won't take this lightly if anything happens to my wife. I don't know. But if anything happens to my wife, they will not see what will hit them. And I'm serious about this. Talk to them, father. Listen, listen, son. Listen, son. Calm down. I will get to the root of this matter. Okay? Calm down. Your Majesty, what happened? I hope all is well. All is not well, woman. All is not well. That was Richard on the line. Okay. His wife has just been kidnapped. What? Yes, by your sons. Oh, no. <laughs> now pass this message on to them. That I demand the immediate release of that lady. And unharmed. I mean, without a scratch. Else, 
I will disinherit them. Uh, uh, no, Your Majesty, I, I do not take any hasty decisions. Please, your son might be making things up. No, I know Richard. He cannot make up such delicate issue. Look, they will have a feel of my wrath if they fail to release that woman. But no. I have spoken. But Your Majesty, I... Yeah. How could you both be this daft as to do what you did? Mommy, why are you being so hard on us? Hmm? We were doing our best to secure our place in this our kingdom. Why not give us that benefit of that? Because you want to destroy everything. Your father was furious when he heard the news. I want the both of you to release Richard's wife with immediate... Relax, mom. I just want to shake him a bit. Teach him a lesson. Shut up! I want the two of you to do the needful and release that woman right now. Unless you want your father to make life unbearable for the both of you. Mommy... Shut up! Shut up. Go and release her now to avoid your father's wrath. Leave! Mom. Mom and I got also. This is our kingdom. We run for nobody. Hey. We cannot sweep this under the carpet. These boys are so wicked. I mean, how could they do a thing like that? Huh? Mama. I am yet to wake up from the shock. You needed to see how I was rough handled. But I warned you. I warned you never to go close to them. Our hands are full with the attack on Richard. Now they have turned their attention on you. Richard should do something. I just pray he will do something. But I know my husband, he will not want to disappoint the father. But Mama, that's, that's okay. The most important thing right now is that I'm fine. They should thank their God for releasing you. Else, they could have seen the other side of you. It's okay, Mama. I'm fine now. It's okay. okay. Huh? Your Highness. Yeah. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you to me to my house? I, you, you've never visited me like this. Uh, I mean, I hope it's all well. All is well. Oh, no. Mm. A wise man like you can never be taken by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> my queen. <laughs> you will surely know what to do at any given time. Well. I thought of it. I said I should pay you a visit. I brought all this for you. Wow. <laughs> All this for me? Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much, Your Highness. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, but before I collect this uh, gift, I want to know what I did to deserve them or what you want me to do. Actually, you know, you're a nice man. Mm. And a nice man like you needs a better life. Well. That's why I thought of it and said I should get them for you. I have some money too. Wow. For you. <laughs> but if I may ask, Your Highness, yeah. does the king know about this visit? How do you mean? What I mean is, does he is he aware of these gifts you are giving to me? Must I tell him before I do something good? <sighs> well, you see, I am sorry to disappoint you, but I won't collect these gifts except in the presence of your husband, the king. Please, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I see why you're still suffering, stupid old man. You will suffer this. Look at this woman. Please, please, come and carry all these things away from here. Carry it, carry it. <laughs> My others. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> for you. Okay. Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome. <laughs> I stand by you. It will never happen in this our kingdom. Bam. Hmm? Our tradition does not permit someone whose mother is not legally married yes. to be crowned a prince. That's our tradition. Ah. Hmm? Thank you, Your Highness. Richard or whatever his name is, is not qualified to take over the mantle of leadership from Igwe. After all, his mother was never married. <laughs> Thank you, my elders. We cannot sit by and watch a total stranger take what is rightfully ours. Huh? Even from the information I gathered, they said that they are outcasts. Pursu. Eh? Yes. Arun. Abomination. Abomination. Not why I'm still alive. To allow the son of an outcast, Osu, to be my king. Yeah. No, no, no. My son, Arinze, is the rightful heir to the throne of Ifite Kingdom. Yes. I'll bring more of this if you help me achieve it. Hmm. <laughs> Your Highness. Mm -hmm. Count on us, we will definitely do that. Really do that. You know, so we rest assured we are going to do it. So what are they <laughs> Igwe, you live very long. Your Highness, there is no way Richard can succeed you. Because his mother is not legally married to you. And we got information that Mama Richard's parents were outcasts. They had no roots. And that's an abomination for Richard to be a king after you. Your Highness, I agree to Your Highness. We also have facts that your mother, the queen, condemned your relationship with her. I never want to approve it because they were also they were slaves in the palace. Now, my people, tell me, how can we make a slave a king? Keep quiet, both of you. Please, if you don't know what to say, you keep quiet or ask questions. Now, let me educate you. Even though Nena, Richard's mother, was a servant in the palace. Her parents were not slaves. Her father and grandfather were renowned farmers in this land. And they were full-blooded citizens of this kingdom. What does that make Richard? A full-blooded indigenous of Ifite kingdom. So what are we saying? Oh no, never ever in your life to ask me, hold, hold your peace. You dare not in my presence address the traditional prime minister of Ifit the kingdom in that manner. I, I am not saying you should not lay your facts down. No. But please, mind the way you address or no. I am sorry. That's <coughs> Oh no, now tell me, of which lineage were they? Who were their ancestors? Now listen, you see, it does not matter whether they were from here or not. Yes. It doesn't even matter whether they were slaves or not. Our custom permits anybody to marry from wherever he wishes. Mm. Yes, my only major concern is that Mama Richard was not legally married to the king. And that has already disqualified Richard from being the heir to the throne. Well, I have had it all. And I thank you. I now want to talk as the chief custodian of our customs and tradition. And I would never go contrary to it. Yes, my late mother did everything she could to stop my relationship with Mama Richard. She did, but I love that woman. I love her so much that I could do anything for her. 
And so, I secretly went to marry her. <laughs> Thank you, Igwe. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? To add to that, my own father told me in confidence that he escorted the Igwe here, then a prince of this kingdom, to go for the payment of Nena's bride price. Because he was convinced that they loved each other. So why then should we hold anything against this young man? Why don't we allow this young man to have some peace? He is a complete indigent of this kingdom. Let us allow the sleeping dog to lie. Please, be quiet. Huh? <clears throat> and let's move ahead. So you see, do you have any other thing to say? You were the fact. I'm sorry. It's okay. You great. Your wish is our command. It's all right. It's all right. So I advise every one of you to go home and think less about this issue. I am in charge. Igwe. I am in charge. Your wish is our command, Igwe. I am in charge. My prince. My sister. I have been wondering when you will be coming forward to choose a day to come and take your wife home. The other day I was with your father and he was lamenting. Lamenting how you've been feeling reluctant to come and take your wife. I laughed and I told him I am having similar issues here. <sighs> your Majesty, you know I hold your family in high esteem. Of course, yes. And I can afford to betray the trust you have in me. That's hmm. good. Nice words from a well-trained man. <laughs> You're always welcome to our home. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, how are your parents? They are fine. Okay. My father asked me to come and notify you on the date that I and my family will be coming for a formal introduction and other ceremony. Wow! This is good news. <laughs> Finally, there will be another wedding. Oh, <laughs> my beautiful daughter and Prince Chede. <laughs> you see the planning. Rapolomia. Now, mommy, fenge me basale. I don't have a problem with that. I don't know. So, what date are you proposing, my dear? Your Highness, please have mercy on me. You witch. You think you can walk into my house and cause confusion? Your Highness, I didn't mean to hurt you. I only thought it was right for my son to know who his real father is. Liar. You old gold digger. You should have kept your legs closed while as a maid in the palace. Thank your stars I'm in my best mood today. Tell your son to reject whatever offer my husband has given to him. He cannot rule over my children. He can't rule over them. Else, I will make sure I wipe you and your useless son out of the surface of this earth. Do I make myself clear? Yes, your highness. Good. Next time, I might not be this friendly. This is just a warning. Nonsense. Mama, you mean she did all that to you? My daughter, I never saw it coming. If I had known, I wouldn't have told Richard all this. Now our lives are under threat. Mama, what is pinning me the most right now is Richard has changed. He no longer listened to me. He is no longer the man that I got married to. Just look at our lives. Our lives are in danger. Where did he go? He should stay away from the palace. It seems I don't know where he went to. He said he has a meeting with the king. Okay, it's okay. Hmm? 
I will talk to him. As soon as he comes back, at least he will listen to me. Okay? I'm just tired. I'm just confused. I don't know what to do. Just rest. Let me make dinner for you, okay? Igwe! I agree to you. My fellow elders, no. I welcome you. No. We all know that the Ofala festival of our kingdom is fast approaching. So that we can deliberate on the way forward. Make inputs as to how this Ofala will be celebrated. I hope I have spoken the mind of everybody. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, as you all know, this is the season of celebration. And also, it is a time to showcase our culture and heritage. Because we will be hosting our neighboring community and our children who are far and near, as well as foreigners. All right, you have all spoken well. The father season is here once again. And we all should strive to make sure that we keep our cultural heritage alive. It is also an avenue through which the king so socializes with his subjects, as well as other well-wishers. <coughs> Sorry, Your Highness. Yes. Sorry. You need water. Sorry. <coughs> Do we get some water? Um, uh, <coughs> Do you need water, Your Highness? Oh no. Yeah. Igwe. Igwe. Get, get the gas. Get the gas. Yes. Get the gas. Yes. I'm sorry. We did all we could. But he didn't make it. What? He did what? He didn't make it. Just take hands. You have to take hands. Hey! Take hands. Igwe Harris in Anna! Hey! A great hero who has fallen. They killed him. They have succeeded in killing my father. My father was strong. He was healthy. Nothing was wrong with him. Those boys those boys have succeeded in driving my father to an early grave. Why? 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 I only just got to know my father. I haven't even stayed with him long. I haven't enjoyed his, his company. I, I... Why? Okay. Why? Is it worth it? Is it... Is this worth it? Right just after I got to meet my father, they have made me fatherless again. What fate is this? Why? Why? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
I am really very sorry for what has happened. What has happened has happened. And there is nothing any mortal can do about it. Your father, the Igwe, has gone to be with his ancestors. <coughs> Remember that he was also my brother. I feel the pain as well. This time, nobody can query the gods. He has finished his race and he has gone to be. Whatever is left, is left for those of us that are alive here. So I still ask everyone to take heart and be strong. This time calls for somebody. We need to think of a way forward. Let us think of what to do to make this family move forward. Let us give peace a chance. I want to believe. No God, the chamma. Lord, take heart. My prince, take heart. No God, the chamma. Oh no, thank you. We cannot sit back here and allow that god digger to organize a father festival while we are here. That's over my dead body. Oh, mama, it will never happen. We must do everything possible to stop him. You see, that death will never come to pass. Lala, I am the heir apparent to the throne. Hey? By the way, look, if there's anybody, if there's someone who can carry out daddy's legacy, it should be me. And it's me. Hey? That boy is just an opportunist. That stupid boy, Richard. Richard! Oh, an opportunist. He wants to come and he wants to come and live from where he did not so. He wants to take what rightly belongs to me. Chinek, oh, Yoko. Chinek, my big gun. Follow me, Yoko. We have to do something about it right now because he's gradually eating into the hearts of the people. We have to start our consultations immediately. Oh, stop that madness. That's, that's madness. <sighs> Greetings, my brothers. See, I did not come into this family to create a rift. I have come for peace. I did not come here to scatter anything. I only sought to identify my roots and then come and live happily. We are family. Fagin! Ebabu family! Ebabu family! You you are a thief. You are a gold digger. You want to come and take what rightly belongs to me. Imam, what is possible? Imam, my friend, I'm sure you know what happens to a goat that stays in the middle of the road. The gate roll over. Dead. To me, you are a dead man. Chere, my cousin, Kanga Willie. Kanga Willie, See, we are brothers. We... Bro, from where to where? My friend, I have only one brother, and that's Arizona. You, I don't know you. Who are you? Huh? Otule? Because she is not my brother. I know Gogiri, I know Gogiri. Maka Nimbo Kwa, total stranger. Nimbo Kwa, Tule. You are not my tulada. My look on the Akaraku, my word and feature. In my world, destiny must come to play. I could fetch a dollar. And I'm with a body of boy. And they are boy of boy. And I'm with a boy. And I'm with a boy. I could fetch a dollar. Um, I really want to thank you for your great support and um, 
I want to promise you that I will do more the moment I become the king. Um, this is if we just manage this talk. Um, I still need your great support. <clears throat> your Highness, you have nothing to worry about. You can always count on us. Hmm? We are also ready to stand by you until you get what is rightful yours. Your Highness, thank you for the money. But there is still a serious problem. What is the problem? Yes, we need to convince Ono to be on our side because he has a serious a serious role to play in this issue. Elder, we or without Ono, we will do the right for ten. That's the spirit. After all, Richard rejected the throne while the king was alive that led to his death. Well, <clears throat> that one has been taken care of. So we are giving you this to seek your support until the rightful owner of the throne takes over. Thank you, Your Highness. Let me tell you something. Convince other chiefs. Let them know that um, whoever that supports me will get something. Something it's good. Right. Something better than this. It's alright, Your Highness. So I need your support. It's alright. Just be rest assured that we are supporting you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. In all ramifications, we are behind you. Solidly. And concretely, we are behind you. Oh, God, it's they support me, I will support them. Whichever way. No. Enjoy yourself. It's okay. I'm going to marry a second wife with this money. <laughs> second wife this time. You see. Lately, I've been having this recurrent nightmare almost every day. I don't know what to make of it. Yes. And I hope it has nothing to do with what my half brothers are after or what they are up to. Baby, I think this whole thing is just your mindset. You need to relax. Okay? You need to stress yourself with all this. It's all right, but whatever be the case, I'm not giving up. I'm not going to disappoint my people. I'm not going to give up on the throne. That throne is mine and I must ascend it like my father wants. Greetings to you all. We all know our that the great Ofala festival of this great kingdom is fast approaching. On this premise, I deem it fit to call on Prince Richard to tell us the next line of action as we prepare for this our great festival. Uh, Prince Richard, go ahead. No, no. It can't happen or no. How can we allow a total stranger to speak when we have our prince, Arinze, who knows the tradition of our people? I will say, Prince Arinze, speak. He will not speak. He will not speak. Why? There is no way Prince Arinze will speak before his elder brother. Richard here is Prince Arinze's elder brother. Of course, I hope you know. Prince Richard here is the rightful heir to the throne. Of course. We have our culture and we must follow it to the letter. Bam! Look at who he's talking. If you don't know how what to say, shut up and eh? keep quiet. Eh? 
My elders, I have something to say. I want to clarify this whole situation. As a matter of fact, I am the true son of my father. Wow. His blood flows in my veins. Mm -hmm. And by that, I will reclaim every single responsibility that is attached to being the crown prince. And that is the position. Owas! Is he Yes. You're a thief! No, no. So shut up! Oh, you think you can just walk into this great palace and take that which rightly belongs to me? No. I said, And for your information, you see, the Fala Festival will be conducted and organized by me. Oh. And anybody that tries to stand in my way will be crushed. Yes! yes. You cannot do that. Yes. You will not that do it. Please, please. I will not do that. It's okay. It is yeah. not in your place to organize and you cannot yeah. do that. Prince Let me see how far you do it. You cannot happen. do it. I would be in this kingdom and have you organize. Prince Arisa, you listen to me. You can't do it. I, I am the... 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 If you want to leave Then you must denounce Richard. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Denounce yes, Richard. Sir. We only have one crown prince in this kingdom, which is Arinze, Arizona, my boss. Hmm? Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Arizona, my boss. Are you still supporting Richard? No, no, sir. What about you? Will you denounce Richard? Will you denounce Richard? I said, will you denounce Richard? I, I will denounce who is this Richard? To understand what you're saying. I will denounce him. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Wano <laughs> Mudonye. <Yeah. laughs> now say, Prince Arizona. <laughs> Prince Arizona! <laughs> Why, <laughs> Ma? Hey, this one you are looking so happy and uh, singing. Hmm. What is happening? What is new? My sister. Hey, you know that the day of my suffering are over. I'm receiving my daily salary. Daily salary? What? How? Hmm. Prince Arise and Emeka, they are paying me my daily salary for supporting them. You need to do the same. Hmm. Me support them? I won't support them. Oh. So you want me to go against the king and the throne of this land, eh? I won't do it. My sister, wake up. Wake up for your own good, my sister. Look hmm. at me. I'm shining. I'm okay. Keep shining. Hmm. Oh. Hey, why you ma? You are really enjoying though. Ah, ah. Eh? A bottle of stout this early morning. Ha, you are enjoying though. My sister, I will enjoy myself now. If I don't enjoy myself, when? I need to enjoy myself very well. Though. It's okay, eh? Eh, why ma, please, eh? I have a little problem. Oh, please, I need you to help me. I need you to lend me eh, the sum of 5,000, just a little sum. I will pay back. I would love to give you this money. Oh. But I don't have any money in my hand. She, she, 50 kobo, don't go on me. Say I have, I will give it to you. So, okay, just even if it's a little, even just a little amount, I will give you the money back. I will pay back. I don't have 10 kobo. But I've already shown you where to make money. It feels to make money now. I don't have, she, she, 50 kobo. I don't have it.
One bottle. Foolish woman. Your face is like you didn't succeed in getting the money. My dear, why Emma refused to give me the money? She said that if I need money, that I know what to do. Mama, what did she want you to do now? The other day she was telling me to support uh, Prince Arins and, uh, and, and Prince Emeka. You, you know I can't do that so that I can be sharing that money with them. I won't do it. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> if that's the only way to, to make money, I think you should consider it too. Damn, Mechionogi, what do you know? Mechionogi, come and get out from here. Do you think money is everything? Get that from here, let me think of my life. Once again, you are welcome to my home. Hello. Um, that is Kola. That's only with the Roji with the end. The two are 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 the two I called this meeting because of the recent happenings in this kingdom. Since our king died, it has been from one problem to another. It has not been easy at all, especially in the area of who succeeds the king. We all are the custodians of the culture of this kingdom. Oh, no, we, yeah. But the problem here is that we are not speaking with one voice. And it can be a very big problem. How can we speak with one voice? Why you are not saying the truth? Because of selfish interest. How can we? How can we? Yes. How can we speak with one voice? One question I would love to ask. How do we know where Richard is from? He just appeared with his mother from nowhere. And you decided to make him king. Over who? Over me and my family? Have you ever asked yourself, how did Richard made his money? And they want to make him king overnight. I will never be part of this. And that was the wish of the king before he died. Yes. Besides, Richard is the first son of the king. Our tradition can never be compromised. Why? It was, <laughs> nobody is compromising our tradition. But Richard, we don't know him. Prince Arinze, everybody in the community knows him. Prince Arinze is going to make a good king for our kingdom. Look, look, look. Prince Richard has all it takes to be king. Bam. It doesn't matter when he appeared. Exactly. What we owe him is our support. Simple. The truth is that we don't know Richard. His coming was a mystery. We do not know him. Bam. He just came from nowhere. Four days before the father. Our king died. Yes. Richard is bad luck. We have to do away with him. Eh? You get me? Yes. Now listen. I am only the custodian of our tradition. Whether you believe it or not, Richard is the heir to the throne of this kingdom. And that is final. It can never happen yes. in this kingdom. We are not taking it. Let's go. You cannot bend the tradition of How can you? How can you? What is written is it's written. Let them go. Your father would love you to live your life to the fullest. How do I pull myself together with all these recent happenings in my family? My brothers and stepbrother are at each other's throats. And all this has affected my performance at work. I can't even concentrate. Like, this is so devastating. I understand. You still need to pull yourself together. You can't keep on like this. How possible is that? You can't keep on like this. Oh, Prince Chile. I'm Juan, how are you? You've been more than a friend. I appreciate. You're welcome. Please, take care of her. She hasn't been herself all day. Seriously, I have tried my best to talk her out of this, but I don't know. Did I need to go? I'm still 
What is wrong with you? Since my father died, my entire family has been in this array. And I'm not happy about it. It's making me so uncomfortable. Why don't you move in with me until everything is settled? No, I can't. I have to be here for my mom. She needs my support. Uh, you don't think your mom needs that support? You're the one who needs support here. Please. You just have to put a smile on your face. Please. Can you just smile? This nonsense. We're in Russia. Oh, I see. You? I can see you have grown wings. I mean, you're not yet the king, and you've started blocking the sons of the soil from passing. Ewa? I was on my lane. You were the ones who drove into my path, and mind you, I'm also a bona fide son of this land. Odile, you make me laugh. You product of one night stand. Son of a slave. Oh, you think you can be king over us, eh? You lie. Oh my gosh. If you like a tiba boaja. See, very soon I will send you to Brodel where you belong. Otule. The throne of Ifite Kingdom is where I belong. And nobody, not even both of you, can do anything about it. Look, Richard, whatever they call you. Let me warn you. Do not go ahead with that Ofala festival. In a quadram belly. Because if you do, if you do, <laughs> there comes a time in a man's life when he has to stand and fight for what he believes in. That time is now. You see this fight? This fight, you will never win. <laughs> this fight will consume you. Look, let me tell you. I don't know how I'm going to watch you. As far as I'm concerned, Anna was a Ozzy kind of woman. I dare you. I dare you both to do your worst. <laughs> My friend, do I say? Do I say if you don't know who you are talking to, go to Indonesia, as of Emi Jakarta, mm. the prince of Jakarta. That's if you have visa. Do you have visa? This Indonesia, we know. Hey, well, <laughs> you're a local man. <laughs> and you're talking to Emi International, the prince of Jakarta, the golden prince. In fact, if you don't take that, for the mouth, for the mouth, for the mouth, for the mouth, for the the mouth, for 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 the mouth, Maka name of a total stranger. You are not to my daughter. Malubana, a caraco, a wet and feature. Emma has to do what he has to do. I cannot sit back and watch a man from nowhere to take what rightly belongs to me. It is impossible. I will go to any length to make sure I am king of Ifite. Richard or whatever your name is, you are playing with fire. My husband. 
you are still wrong. What troubles you? Baby, I've witnessed so many storms in my life. And most of them had caught me by surprise. But I've learned very quickly to look further and understand the fact that I am capable of controlling how my future will be. I've got on me. Baby. In as much as you're fighting for what you believe in, you must also think about your family. I want you to trade with caution. I don't want anything to happen to you. What will you find me? Nothing will happen to you. Or even us. What will you find me? No. I need you to judge on that. I don't want to ask you, Babu, Ari, Gog. Richard is a small boy. I mean, I can't just sit here and uh, allow a stranger from nowhere to come and take what rightly belongs to me. It, it has never happened. Impossible. Mm -hmm. oh, mommy. I will deal with the fact, the fact, the fact uh, what I will do to Richard, he will never for, uh, forget it in a hurry. I don't know what to do. Baby. I'm not saying you shouldn't fight for what you believe in. I'm not. But you have to really be careful. I don't want to be a widow. Mm, Mom, it will never happen. Hmm? You will never be a widow. I'm fighting to take over what rightly belongs to me. I must succeed my father. I am the higher parent. And no body, no man born of woman, will take what rightly belongs to me. Oh my God, it's my fault, it's my everything. So don't worry, go back to bed, go back to sleep, okay? I love you. We finna make it, no? Don't worry. Just go back to sleep, okay? Mommy, are you taking a bath? Honey, I'm set to go for the meeting I told you about with the party chairman. I won't be back until maybe the next three hours. I feel that I'm talking to you. Honey? Honey, I... You and mine is beautiful. You have cash, it's wonderful. But when that is not enough, you start again, you start again. Dangerous game, because the money is there. You never know how it's going. What's going on, Kagin? You and money is beautiful. You have cash, it's wonderful. But when that is not enough, you start again, you start again. Dangerous game. I am convinced that most men don't know what they believe. Rather, they only know what they wish to believe. You know, most times, men are quick to make decisions that are not favorable to them. Who blame the gods for the atrocities caused by men? Oh no, you're playing the drum. And I hope that this drum you're playing will be able to dance to the tune when the time comes. I don't seem to understand what you're saying. Oh no, we don't pretend as if you don't know what we are talking about. Oh no, will you connive with a total stranger to take what is rightfully ours? No. Point of correction. Prince Richard is not a stranger, let alone being a total stranger. I hope you know that he is your elder brother. Oh no, please pay us the sermon. Richard is not my brother. I don't know him. Oh yes. Oh no, I've worked all my life. I've worked 
to be where I'm supposed to be now. The throne belongs to me. Oh no. I'm the real apparent. You cannot come from the blues and take that which rightly belongs to me. Ban. Please. Please. Do what you're supposed to do. I am only doing the wish of your father. Our like father I have no father. wish. He's a dead man. We decide what happens here. Oh no. I'm going to offer you a lot of money. And a brand new car. Just name it. Just tell me. I'm going to give you an open check. Oh no. Tell me what you want. Oh no. All I need is your support. Support me. Once I become king. And after my coronation. Oh no. Whatever amount of money you've written on that check. I will double it. Whatever the brand of car I'm going to give to you, I will still double it. It's your choice or no. I want you to do this for me. Listen to me very well. Your father, the late king, bestowed very great trust on me. And I am not ready to betray that trust. Even in death, I am so sorry, my prince. Please, I cannot do it. I cannot. My conscience will never forgive me. And your late father will never forgive me, even in his grave. Look, mother, you have to take things easy. Dad died of heart attack. I don't want you to join him. Your father died because he was a weak man. How can a man a man I spent all my life with. Take what belongs to my children and give it to a total stranger. I will never allow it happen. That will be over my dead body. Mom, Dad was not a weak man. He only did what was right. Moreover, Richard is my brother. He is no longer a stranger to us. Whose side are you on? I don't blame you. You're just a girl. You will not understand. Look, why fight over a throne against father's wish? My brothers have the whole company to themselves and all their businesses. It is enough for them, mom. No. I can see you have chosen the ways of your father. You want to betray us like your father did, right? First thing tomorrow morning, get ready, you're leaving this country. Stay wherever you're going to find yourself until everything is over. No, mom. I'm going nowhere. I have a lot to do here. Get out of my sight. Out! Get out! Stupid girl. Nonsense. This life, boy, never look at every night. This life, boy, never look at every night. Oh no, my prince. You know, tomorrow is the day we have been waiting for. I want to thank you for your support, all true, for standing by me and standing by the side of truth. I do not take it for granted. And I want to promise you one thing, that all your efforts will not be in vain because I will not disappoint you or the people of this land. Thank you. I want to take this kingdom from where it is now to where it should be. You have spoken very well. Very, very well, my prince. I want to assure you that the gods can never mislead us. They will never lead us astray. Your father, the late king, was a very great man. Very, very great man. He lived his entire life for the people of Ifite. I want you to emulate his style of leadership. And not just that, my prince. I want you to do better than your father did. Just like your father, the late king, did better than his own father. <laughs> I will know. 
Thank now, you. like you know, our tradition cannot be compromised. So I would want you to guard it jealously with all your life. Very soon, you will be crowned king of this kingdom after the Ophala festival. That will be the beginning of a brand new era. My prince, I ask you this question. Are you ready for what is coming your way? Yes or no? You I are? I am. You are sure you are? Yes. Good. Let's drink to a very successful reign as king of Ifite Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> Igwe! Oh no! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait. So very happy. <laughs> this is the end of you, Richard. You can't just walk into my home and take what rightfully belongs to my children. I will not sit back and watch it happen. That will be over my dead body. This life, boy, This life, a man is there's a limit to what he can endure no full-blooded sane man will sit back and watch all he represents being slaughtered on the altar of peace they want war i will tell them i'm worse than the beast what has these people told you Lito? richard you know i'm gonna listen to me i have told you to let all this go i don't want to lose you something must kill a man honey i'm not scared of them this is my bet right we're talking about. Only cowards shy away from their responsibilities, and I am not one. Not when our lives are at stake. Those guys can do anything to take you off their way. What is the essence of life if it will reduce you to nothing? I am fighting for what belongs to me, and I don't mind if it takes my life. 
Richard, you've changed. What I see as I look at you is a desperate man. It's like this Yes. Are you sure? That's very, very good. Fantastic. It's already a good job. <laughs> oh, yes. No problem. Thank you. So, how did it go? Yeah! Everything went as planned. Guy, there's nothing to worry about again. Our boys did a good job. Done. Does that? So what's the next plan? The next plan now is to end this madness. And then for me to take over what rightly belongs to me. Because said. This is unacceptable. Ifite has become a den of robbers. Mm. Violence everywhere. Mm. And people can no longer go out and come back safely without being threatened by uh, all these uh, night marauders. And uh, ah, we must find an end to it. This must stop. Yes. Ah, ah. Let me tell you, it has just begun. How do you expect this to be fine while you are supporting a total stranger? To be king over us. How do you know him? Since that man came into this our kingdom, things have turned upside down. Mm -hmm. Our land has no, no peace. Let me remind you. The violence in Ifite has nothing to do with Richard. Exactly. Eh? Except for those who think that he is not worthy to oh. be a king. Yes. Now tell me, how can we bring a man who doesn't know anything about royalty to be king? It is his bad right. Oh. Yes. Moreover, I am not the king that chose him as heir, as heir to the throne. Mm -hmm. He is the first son of the king. I hope you know that. Mm -hmm. No matter where he came from. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. All I know is we are doing the right thing. Of course. Of course you're... Oh. oh no. Oh no. I quite disagree with you on this. We all know that Prince Arinze has been a hard-working gentleman. Yes. He deserves to be a king. But he has been with his father all these years, only to be rejected at the end. It's unfair. It's unfair. Oh no, I don't blame you. Richard must have filled your pocket with money. Bam. That is why you're supporting him. Yeah. That is why you are supporting him. For your information, oh no, who here cannot be bought over. Tell them. For your information. Tell them. He's a man that stands for the truth. Oh. Yeah. He stands yeah. for the truth. Exactly. <laughs> My guy, my guy, I'm confused. It's about Ika Wugomu. To say that our community that was in peace before have finally turned into a war zone. My brother, it's quite unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Eh? As a matter of fact, I and my younger brother were going to Aba to stay with my uncle. That's my father's wish. At least my mother is around to Aba. Yeah, your own better now. You can get the number. Your own better. How? I wish, eh, with time now, I have someone that I can can stay with and leave this village. My baby will be there also. We go one month. No place like home. More. See, eh? Rumors had it that our late king is the cause of all this trouble. I'm telling you. That's a matter. Oh no, 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 don't you know that our late king married the slave? Wait, say what you know. Say what you know. <laughs> our late king never married a slave. See, let me tell you. The woman in question eh, was never a slave. She was never a slave. She was a maiden back then in the palace. Our Yugwe, our late king, the mother did not approve their marriage. That was what happened. So you are not sure of what you heard. Yeah, damn. This, this was, this was exactly what my father told me. Uh, your father, your father was not even sure of what he heard. My father. Uh -huh. My father. Uh -huh. Pambu. Calm down. If, if your father was sure, he could not. You don't say it. She was never a slave. She was a maiden. Woman. Unu awende unu na unu ani ebuari rumi. Makechi mo fo ma 
One thing I have learned in all my years of success is to fight for what belongs to me. You think I don't know your antics? All the mayhem you unleash on this land, all the destruction you have heaved on our people, you think I don't know that? Let me ask you, when you do all these things, do you ever think of your people? Do you think about the entire people of Ifite Kingdom when you do all this, all these terrible things? You may do and get away with it, but let me tell you, I am not scared of you one bit. You're making a big mistake by coming to my father's house to confront me. Look, I have just one single advice for you. If you can break away and get out, break away and get out. Otherwise, you see this fight, it will consume you. Agua, are you ready? Like I said, I have learned to stand and fight for what belongs to me. Okay? I will fight till the last drop of blood in me. The challenge is to fight so much so that people who don't even believe in you will come around when you get to your destination. This is my father's house. This is my inheritance. This is my heritage. And as regards this fight, I am not giving up. Ah, oh, then get ready to die. Really? <laughs> and who will kill me? No, tell me, who will kill me? This is your last warning. Stay away from me. Else! Go we'll get that, Otule! He's already a dead man. Otule! He's already a dead man. Richard, I'm going I'll personally kill you. I have a good I'm going to Just seven servers. Really? He's already a dead man. Richard, I'm going Come here. Hey! Shut up, Emma. My dear, I can't continue staying in this palace anymore. Look at the way things are going out of hand. Me too. Can't you see where that kind goes up and down? Yeah, like the war zone. Exactly. That is exactly what it is. War zone. My dear, I may not know where I'll be going from here. My dear, but I have to leave before I will be caught by a stray bullet one day. Hmm. But wait, oh, at least can't you wait and take this month's salary? Did I hear you say salary? Yes, now. <laughs> where everybody are busy fighting over the throne. Eh? Nobody cares for us. When was the last time you were fed well in this palace? You are right, oh. But at least, what are we going to do now, now? Did I hear you say we? Yes, no. <laughs> My dear, you're on your own. As I'm talking to you this moment, I'm leaving this palace. Eh? That is the point I was waiting for everybody to talk. You see, some people came to this palace to eat. People like you, it's just to receive salary and eat. Then people like me, just for the meantime, be at the gate, then take over the whole building. Very soon, this palace will be very, very empty. Everyone will run away. You just remain me. I will now take over the throne and become the king of this kingdom. And somebody like you, I will not be needing you as a queen. I won't worry about them. Do you hear me? See, I, don't, I know you don't know what this thing is. In English, they call it head of lion. Eh? Before he died, he made me the chief security officer of this building. That chief is because I'm a cabinet chief, awaiting king to be. And I know what the next thing is. Me becoming the king. And very soon, you see this cap? It's white now. You turn to red, die go soon. May you will give you finally. And people like you will not be in this palace. Do you hear me? So in them all about I think I, I like your courage to stay in the palace. You know? It's obvious. I can see that you are here to eat only food. 
Okay. Let me tell you, see, I like you, I like your courage in this kingdom. Eh? I think I will reward you and your family. Just don't mind them. But before you become the queen, we'll be doing those things that king and queen normally do. Eh, this night, I will leave my door open. So you can, you can come in. Yes. Wasted gate man, nonsense. Eh, now. Look, 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 just look at us and if normal maid should talk to me. This one is not even qualified to, to be a, a normal maid will talk to me. Ha, I warned them about this idiot before they brought her in. Don't worry. Hey, now. This is life. The life we are living. The oh, baby, no. <laughs> No, baby, I just I just went down the road to get something. I'll soon be back now. Baby, don't worry, okay? I'll be back soon, okay? My love. Alright, see you soon. Bye. This is Richard Ezago Harrison. Ah, this is not Richard. Oh. Your wife is with us. <sighs> Listen, all we need is your collabo. If not, <laughs> it's a real god. Hmm? You must be out of your mind. Oh, <laughs> Listen. Listen and listen carefully. We want you to go into exile and forget about the throne for life. We'll have your wife here. Kill her and your one child. That's not possible. You can't be serious. Who are you? And how am I even sure you are my wife? Okay, okay. Hey, hey, talk to your husband. Oh, Richard, 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 please, I beg you in the name of God. Please just do anything they want. I beg you, Richard, I don't want to die. Please, for the sake of our hey. mother. Hey, you had that right? You had that right? H hello? H hello? Hello? My God. My God. My God. H hello, Boon. Boon! Please, I'm pregnant. I beg you. I beg you, please. Listen. Please. So you don't know you are pregnant? When you and your husband want to take what does not belong to you. Huh? Please, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have an idea of what you're talking about, please. Please, I beg you, don't don't hurt me, please, for the sake of my unborn child. I'm pregnant. Hey, 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 listen, listen, just listen. <coughs> they was going to go into exile. I forgot about the for life. Okay. This life, boy. This life, boy. This life, boy.
honestly, he deserve what he got. Exactly. Lolo, you see, in this game, there can only be one master. Bam. And that one master is me. <laughs> <laughs> You're brave, my son. You have proved yourself worthy to be king. Yes, ma'am. I know you will never disappoint me. You see, you see, see, mom, there's no way we can sit back here and then allow total stranger to come in here and take over what belongs to us. Mommy. Um, right now, you must be somewhere far away on Ezai. <laughs> Otule, can you imagine? Um, I shall be having a meeting with the elders council tomorrow so we can discuss about the new date for the Ofala festival. The truth is, never again shall any stranger come into this our great kingdom to disrupt our activities, to cause us chaos, cause us insecurity. It can never happen again. Right on, my son. I am solidly behind you both. <laughs> yes, ah. Let us toast to this great feat. Long live this our great kingdom. Long live our Igwe. And then long live myself, the heir apparent to the truth. Bam. And uh, I honestly would like to borrow these few words from the great Shakespeare. And I quote Like a bear, I am tied on the stake. But bear like, I must fight the cause. So I will fight you to the end. Okay, I'm going to fight another day. Yes, <laughs> Please, I beg of you. I beg you to have mercy on me. For the sake of my condition, please. I slap you! If I slap you, devil go wrong come off your brain. Oh, 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 oh! Because of your condition, when you and your husband is going for a throne that doesn't belong to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, my husband is not even interested in the throne. Yes. If I slap you, eh? If I wake you up. See, 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 see. Stop watching your crocodile tears, oh. I am a professional in this. They paid me to do my job, and I'm doing my job. Listen, just for the sake of my condition. For the sake of your own child, I'm carrying. Ah! Just at least get me water or food. You know I'm pregnant. Let's just stop! Please, I beg you, please. <laughs> what do you do? It's like you have plenty of trouble, right? You like trouble! Please. Please. Well, I'll just get you just water. Because of that thing. Just because of that thing. No food. Oh, uh, well, um, will you miss me? Uh, where are you going to? You're supposed to be with the prison. Ah, uh, I want to get out of that. She said she needs water. She needs water? Yeah. Okay, go get her water. Okay, go get her. Safe. Your husband asked me to take you to somewhere safe. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. I have a relation. I said I have a relation. I will not take it. This is an abomination. Uh -uh. The tradition of this our land can never be compromised. The lady Igwe declared Prince Richard, Crown Prince of this great land, before his demise. And that singles Richard out as the prince qualified to celebrate your father. <laughs> I will not stand here and watch you people desecrate the tradition of this land. I will not be happy to it. Let him go. As you can see, we don't really need him. The gods are with us. Yeah. Let him go. <laughs> um, elders, I'm in support of Fonu. Yes, 
Prince Richard is the eldest son in this family. And by implication, the heir to the throne of Ifite. I will not be part of this abomination. I'm living here. Look at them, slave masters. I will go! Go! Ah. Do two of you also want to live with them? No, my friend. We are behind you. Yes, support of me. Yes, my friend. Okay. For supporting me, I'm going to give the two of you 500,000 naira each. Huh? Yes. 500,000? Yes. Again, again. <laughs> Not only that, I will give all of you two, two plus of land. No. In a very nice place. <laughs> My prince, <laughs> may your days be long. They got it. They got it. Um, one more thing. Let's not forget. For supporting me and praying that if I become the king of this noble community and kingdom, I will place both of you and any other person that supports me on a monthly salary. Monthly salary? So, so you take care of yourselves and your family members. Oh, how are you doing again? Greetings! 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 You are already the king. Yes! We are solidly the king. This true. You are already our king. She's wonderful, but when that is not enough, you start again, you start again, dangerous. What? What? what is it? Oh, oh, please, get him out! Come out! Please, 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 I, please, I beg you. Just a second. Yo, leave me alone! Hey, how can she do? Shut up! This is life, the life we are living. The more you love, the less you see. I know you have a hand in this. I suspected it. Hmm. Oh no, I am offering you ten million naira and a house in any of your choice location. I want you to support me to become king of this great kingdom. You cannot bribe me with money. <coughs> I will continue to stand by the truth. Even if I must die for it. Richard is the rightful heir to the throne of Ifite. And he has his father's blessings. I, I cannot go against the tradition of our people. You see why you are so poor? Ten million naira, you are still talking gibberish. What can Richard do for you that my brother Arizona cannot do for you ten times when he becomes the king? Ten million naira, you are talking gibberish. Have you seen it before? I am not expecting a reward. For doing what is right in the sight of the gods. Hmm. I can see you're proving very stubborn. But let me warn you. Your stubbornness will never stop me from becoming king. I will leave you here. I'll, I'll make sure you suffer. Suffer till you die. And let me tell you. Even my left father and the gods of our land will never, never stop me from becoming king. I must be king. With or without you. <coughs> Me! <coughs> uh, mm. nice. Young man, I advise you to watch your tongue. Watch your tongue before you incur the wrath of the gods. Hmm? The gods, their ways are not the same with the ways of mere mortals. Please, be careful what you say. I've told you, let's waste this man and bury him here. 
and just wasting time. Nobody will know where he is. Just waste him. You know what? Let's just pay him to you. After the final festival, then we'll do away with him. Keep an eye on him. Lock this place. No food for now. No problem, sir. May I make you fair? Let's go. Have mercy on the poor old man. I need some water, water, please, water. <laughs>
arrest for kidnap and murder. Move it. My friend, you cannot arrest us. Where is your warrant? I have my warrant. No way. You can't arrest my sons. Are you resisting arrest? I would have killed you when I had the opportunity to do so. You old fool. You can't do nothing. My friend, move it. What, what was it? That is red now. Move it. Officer, take it. Move. 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 The less you see, the less you understand. Do you really want to know? Don't be offended. Evil I, children. I just want to ask one question. This one, they are throwing them out. Please, what did they do? Because I'm sure it's threatens. It must be involved. You don't need to tell me. Just choose one. Is it abomination or is communication? Just choose one. Just choose one. success and the Ofala festival was a very great success as well 
I make a the gods of this land for seeing us through. Now let us go down to the business of today. Prince Richard, hello, please step forward. <laughs> what come in your hand? Hello. My hello. elders, am I speaking your mind? Yes. You are. <laughs> oh no, no, woman. Come again, eh? How do you go? How do you go? How do you go? Yes. I hope they didn't die. Ah, where's the boys? I'm not here. Oh, but we're not gonna hear you. Is it boys? I'm not here. Oh, but we're not gonna hear you. Ah, oh, but he's not the guy, man. Not the guy, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are you? I don't think I'm going to give you. Let's get one of your hands down. Yes, this one. And the other one. Go away, it's one of them. Okay? Go away, who knows me? Right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to forget. By powers. Vested on me as the traditional prime minister of Ifi the kingdom, I crown you, Prince Richard Ezago Harrison, the Onwana Barora, the third of Ifi the kingdom. <laughs> 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 humility that I accept this responsibility bestowed upon me to lead our people. I am indeed humbled by this and I promise to execute my duties with diligence and honesty. I promise to ensure that there is peace in the land at all times, that there is progress, that our people flourish. It shall be well with us. It shall be well with our household. It shall be well with our families. It shall be well with our wives. It shall be well with our children. Oh, my brother! You know? Let me work. Let me work. Oh, my God, Naya! I'm going to go get my. 
um, fellow elders, we have done the needful. Yes. Yet, there's something we must do. <laughs> we are in the mood of celebration, as yeah. you all can see. Um, the Igwe will now move to the square to so dance to the music of the Igwe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Igwe! Yeah. Me? I am certain it's going to be a boy. Oh, stop it. No, you stop You're it. It's going to be a girl. Don't say that again. Listen, this kingdom has to continue and we need a successor. So, a rabbit case, it's going to be a boy. You win. You win. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I can't wait. No. I can't wait. But the boy is going to look like me. Please, my son. Can I have a word with you? As you can see, I'm busy with my wife. I, I don't have time for that now. Oh, baby, please don't be like that. Yeah, please. Okay, say what you have to say fast, because I'm very busy. Please, my son, I have come to ask you to forgive us. Forgive your brothers. I know we have wronged you and the entire Ifite Kingdom. But they have suffered enough. Please, I, I don't want them to die in jail. Biko, Biko Nam, Biko. Madam, mom, mother. I am not the police nor the court that put people in jail. I cannot do their work for them. <sighs> My son, I know the power you possess as the traditional head. You have influence over this case. Please, they are still your brothers. Forgive them. Because of them. Because of them. Don't be like that, please. Please, my husband. Please, I beg of you to forgive them. Please, we have to embrace peace now. We're one family. Let's all live in peace, please. If your father was to be alive, he would embrace peace too. Please, I beg of you to forgive them, please. Do you know what? You know, I am only doing this because of my wife and for the sake of peace. But I will do that on one condition. That your sons never ever in their life again come around this palace to constitute nuisance or to disturb anybody in the entire Ifite kingdom. They will not. If it happens again, I will make them get lost forever. Mba, anything you ask them to do, they will do it. Be good now. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. I want to say thank you for securing our release. Honestly, I never knew you were such a very good man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate. You have shown us true quality of leadership. And we have come to align with you as family. We are sorry for whatever that happened. Okay, my brothers, please sit down. Thank you. I am the dogs for a day like this. And I am 
sure even our father will be happy wherever he is. Our people have a saying that now, even when Nani Runokbo, the anger of a sibling does not get to the bone. It is well, and I'm glad that we are coming together as one family. Your inheritance is yours already, according to Father's dictate. Everything he wished would be as he wanted it. All we need is to forge ahead as one happy family to make everybody in this place progress and make the kingdom of Ifite to flourish. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Look at me. Arizona! <laughs> Arizona! Mekus! Okay, then again, man. I was in the mood today. Hey, I was My heart is full with happiness. That peace has finally returned to this land. Yesterday, King Richard released his two stepbrothers from the police custody. Wonderful! Oh, yeah. This is a very good news. Wonderful! Oh, yeah. very good news. Good news. Good news. A very wonderful good news. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> um, not only that, he has finally reconciled and made peace with them. Ah, another wonderful good news. That's a very good news. Um, I want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that stood by me during the time of oppression from the two princes. A hand of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 What if it is my destiny? I by fire, by flesh, I must roll up. What if it is my destiny? I by fire, by flesh, I must roll up. You know, say, every story has a teller. Every teller has a story. Man, I was a young man, a bonnega cacoca, and no one, a bonnega cacoca. Only to me, as a no one, as a cacoca. If I saw a room of a man, only to me, as a no one, as a cacoca. What if it is my destiny? I don't care. By fire, by flesh, I must roll up. What if it is my destiny? I don't care. By fire, by flesh, I must roll up. I know go good, I know go good. Because you are not my brother. No go good, I no go good. Maka nimbo kwa total stranger. Nimbo kwa tule. You are not my tulada. Maluba na akara kuwa where I'm future. Nimbo kwa destiny must come to tule. Aku fetcha dala wa. Ana mweza mwali ya mweza. Jimmy 
What if it is my destiny? I like it. 